It's Senny and Finn's Games and Grabs Podcast. Now sponsored by Gamerborn Clothing. Go to gamerborn.co.uk and use code DDGAMING or 10% off your next order. What's happening guys? Welcome to episode 66 of the Games and Grabs Podcast. I'm Sunny, and with me as always is Finn Steele. Hello! How you doing Finn? I'm doing okay, how are you? Yeah, I'm good, man. Thank you very much. Cool. I might not be so good after tomorrow, though. Really? What's happening tomorrow? Yeah. Well, I'm playing 11 aside football for the first time in about <laughs> three years. Wow. And I'm concerned that it's going to finish me. <laughs> yeah, it, it finished me, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I play five aside every Tuesday. Cool. But 11 aside, outdoors, it's a different story. Outdoors in the sun? Oh. I know. <laughs> I know. After work as well. Ooh, ouch. Harsh. I'll report back next week on uh, how that went, but uh, I'm, I'm concerned. I have my <laughs> concerns, it must be said. Yes. Um, good luck. Uh, Thank try, you, I appreciate try, that. Try and come back alive for the podcast. <laughs> for the podcast, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I will try, absolutely. Cool. We'll, 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 we'll be just like uh, the Manchester United people. Ah, uh, yes. That you like so much. Manchester City United. Oh, no. You are sort yeah. of learning. You're getting yeah. there. The, the red ones, right? The red ones, that's correct, yeah. yeah. The red right. ones, not the I... not the light blue ones. All right, got it. Red, not blue. Got it? Got it. You got it. <laughs> okay. A bit of housekeeping before we uh, before we start this week's podcast. My favourite. Just want to thank everybody before uh, for coming along to the Great Balls of Fire WWE 2K17 stream that I did on Daydreamer this past Sunday. Goodness gracious. Uh, ah. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Uh, we had some great people in the comments uh, talking wrestling. Uh, and that's what I love about doing those prediction streams. Uh, it just brings wrestling people together. And we can all just geek out over wrestling for a, a couple of hours. Yes, um, good stuff. But it was a very good time. So thank you very much for that. Excellent. And also at Daydreamer Gaming, Ooh. we now have a second sponsor. Yay. Check us out. <laughs> Fatal Grips have taken us on board as an official partner. So if you head over to fatalgrips.com and use the code DDGAMING at the checkout, you will get 10% off. Very nice. They do like grips for controllers and accessories and things like that. It's very, very cool. So uh, go and have a look at that. Cool. And of course, we are still sponsored by Gamerborn. That hasn't changed. Yes. In fact, you can buy a Games of Grab t shirt on the website right now. Yes, you can. There'll be a link in the description straight to the actual page, which is awesome. Yep. Look, look at it right now. It's, it's very sexy. You very can rest, sexy. You can, you can Much like it. the person who's wearing it right now as well. Of course. I'm not actually wearing it right now, but yes. Oh, you're not wearing it? One okay. of them last week, yes. Okay, fair <laughs> enough. Um, and yeah, so you can press all your friends. Be like, hey, look at this awesome bit of t-shirt I got with this awesomely designed logo designed by a really cool guy. And <laughs> this and is... Go, like you, everyone should listen to this really cool podcast that I listen to with these really cool guys. Exactly. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, look how cool and all the things you'll be like, whoa, oh my God, oh, so cool. You're the coolest person I know, person. And the other <laughs> person will be like, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Finn. <laughs> Hello. What have you been playing this uh, week? <laughs> <laughs> Most, honestly, mostly Crash Bandicoot. Uh, okay. Trying to get my way through that. I've been getting gems and stuff as I go. Um, haven't started the time trials yet. I'm going to do time trials uh, on stream, I think. That'd be a maker. That'd make a fun stream. Okay. Um, I did do the high road because... Fuck the high road. Oh, shit. <laughs> I, okay. I, I wanted to get that done and out of the way. And now I'm going to ever play it again. Because that road, that level is bad. Bad. It's, <laughs> it's straight up bad. Um, but yeah, everything else about it is great. And I love it. But the high road, nope. <laughs> no, I mean, I saw you moaning about it in the uh, in our Discord server. <laughs> yeah. Um, is it really that bad? It's really that bad. Was that right, a time you, trial you, you'll that you see, did? You'll or? see it. Once you get here, you, you'll, you'll, you'll see. Okay. You'll all see. <laughs> But, yeah. yeah, I'm. I'm not excited about it. I must be honest. You, you've not sold it to me. You've, yeah. you've not. Well, you've, you've not made me want to do it. <laughs> well, Viz has hopefully, helpfully, um, posted a, uh, a helpful guide on how to easily beat the level at least uh, and get the gem. But uh, doing the time trial, you having to do that while going at full speed is very difficult. Um, okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but I did do it. So yay. Go you. <laughs> Go me. Uh, but uh, yeah, look forward to playing more of that. Uh, on stream and stuff that'd be cool cool anything else um, a bit, bit, bit of bit more dead by dead with you guys um mm. 
played a bit with uh, Denzel on the stream as well, as well as yeah. uh, Friday the Thirteenth, which is awesome. Uh, the the game's having problems, isn't it? Yeah, the matchmaking is not great. No, um, it's not. It's which, which is a shame because it started so strong as well. Because hmm. like, obviously we we were playing it the week the well the day that it came out and. You know, everything was great at that point. It was sort of like, right, okay, we're going into games. We're getting into games really, really quickly. Um, but now it seems to have slowed up a bit and we're struggling to get in games, even, you know, going into them as single people. Like not even going in mm. as a group, we're struggling to get in games. And it can't be, and I refuse to believe that it's because people aren't playing it because I'm under the impression that it's got a, a big community on both PC and on console. Yeah, it's weird. So when you play as a killer, you get a game like, pretty much instantly but when you play as uh, like a survivor it takes a while uh, to even find like, one person to play with mm. it's weird I mean there's no two ways about it playing as the survivor is the the meat of the game that's the best part mm. yeah I think it's the most fun I mean I think, being, mm. being the killer is fine it is yeah, it's fun but being the survivor is the best part of it I think anyway yeah I think so too yeah, it's but, a shame, yeah. and I hope they fix it, and I hope they patch it out. I mean, they've got the Michael Myers uh, from Halloween DLC coming uh, in August. Cool. So I'm looking forward to that, and <laughs> hopefully that will rejuvenate the community. People will want to be Michael Myers, and then maybe we won't have such an issue getting into games <laughs> as survivors, because people will be scrambling away to uh, be the killer instead, maybe. Yeah, yeah hopefully. Mm. Fingers crossed. Yeah. But so, so that's all you've been playing. That's literally it. Pretty much, yeah. Nothing, nothing major. Wow, okay. It's a slow gaming week for you, this. It is. I didn't play any more Dishonored 2 either. Damn. I'd, I'd oh. do some more of that next week. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> so, um, I have played the game I was supposed to this week. Yay. And I have actually played some Outlast 2, and I'm unhappy to report <laughs> that it is so bloody difficult. Holy it's, crap. You're stuck. The game gives you... No- yeah, I'm stuck, yeah. The game <laughs> gives you nothing. Right, so the weedy bloke that you play as can't fight at all you can't even throw a measly punch you can do nothing now, it's basically, it's basically what, me in video game form yeah he is <laughs> cheers <laughs> sorry <laughs> <laughs> didn't even stick up for you then it's like yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He, he is the you <laughs> um but you know there's rocks and stuff everywhere just pick up a rock and crack it the side of these people's heads yeah you think so i think yeah, I but that. so there's no combat in the game at all now i love the game I think it's great. I really do think it's great. Just like I love the first one. Hmm. But it is bloody hard. And it gives you no hints or nothing. It's like, here you are in this fucking <laughs> world of debauchery and religion and Darkness. weird people with bright eyes. <laughs> We're telling you nothing. Just make your own way through it. Figure it out. And suffer. Yeah. And it's like, oh, okay. Like you know, I feel like I'm getting somewhere, and then I had a quick browse at a guide, and realised that I'm not getting anywhere. Yeah, like nice. I, I'm, I'm barely, I'm, I've barely scraped the surface. <laughs> so that's good. That that really pleased me. Um, I'm gonna crack on with it. I am gonna try and push past the part that I'm at now. Cool. Um, but yeah, I'm. I picked it up and played it at the very least. That's good. I think a guide will help. You'll get, you'll get through it eventually. A guide got me through the first one. Yeah, yeah, well, it yeah. had to because it's hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because okay, so I got the first one. Yeah, um, I've been playing Tekken, Tekken Seven. Nice. Uh, I obviously because you platinumed it last week. I did, and um, I wanted to do the same. So I've got my, I've got the online trophies, so they're out of the way. Nice. And I was worried about them, but it actually was it was easy. Yeah, not that bad. Fun. Tend, get, tend, to, tend to be against people who are like your own skill level. So it's the first yeah, time online you'll put against other people who are. Also, it's the first time online. Yeah, so, uh, I mean, that tournament one concerned me because um, mm-hmm. I started a tournament up and I wasn't the first match, so I watched the first match. Oh, yeah. And I watched somebody just put on a complete masterclass as king. Like, <laughs> the first move they did was like a combo throw and it just finished the round. Wow, Jesus. It's like just a complete <laughs> combo, like constant, just move after move after move yeah. in one combo yeah. of throws. And I was like, I'm worried here. I'm, I'm concerned for my life. <laughs> so then my, my character of choice, who was uh, Jin, nice. I, he's quite hard hitting and he's very powerful. So hope, so he got me through and it was fine. And I've got my online trophies. I just need to play the story, but I think the story is boring. Not because the game mm. is boring, because the narrator is boring. He is a bit, yeah. He is a bit boring. I just don't get it. It's like, yeah, and then this happened and 
I'm a policeman, I think, but I'm <laughs> doing some invest. And it's like, what the it's, fuck is this? Like, yeah. could you sound any less interested than you do now? <laughs> yeah, it's very weird that I did that. But oops. but the game itself is great, and I really, really enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. The character, the character, trying to the uh, character things out, or do, do they not unlock until after the story? I can't remember. The character chapters? Yeah. No, I've seen trophies for them, but I've not. I barely touched the story. I mean, I wanted to get okay. the the online stuff out of the way, and um, that floor breaking one that I um, oh, asked yeah. you about, and then there was a couple of other ones that involve breaking um, the walls in certain arenas and whatever. So I've got those ones out of the way. I'm about fifty percent deep into the trophies, and Ooh. but a load of them now are story related ones. So um, I'm gonna, yeah. I might do that after I record this today, actually, and uh, maybe try and dip into the trophies a little bit deeper. Cool. Uh, what else have we been playing? Playing a little bit more Micro Machines, still enjoying that. Oh, yeah. Played some Dead by Daylight, still enjoying that when we can get a game. <laughs> yeah. Um, me and Mule played Injustice 2 on the Saturday morning show, uh-huh. and it was such a laugh. If you oh, well. di- didn't watch the Saturday morning show this week on Daydreamer, go back and watch it because it was an, an unmissable one. It was <laughs> so much fun, and we had a brilliant time. And I laughed, like we were laughing at the beginning or near the beginning um, and I haven't laughed like that in so long so if you want to hear <laughs> me and Gaming Mule in complete hysterics losing our minds laughing go and watch this Saturday, uh, the Saturday morning show from last week it was brilliant awesome uh, I, just, I need to start working up with those <laughs> yeah you do because you're missing out on a good time <laughs> yeah seriously and I've been still playing Forza Horizon 2 as well I'm getting through that awesome my aim is to 1000 gamer score it that'd be cool but it's a large game, and I've got the DLC as well, which is taking it to like 2,500 gamer score. Good deal. <laughs> Back in my day, you could only get 1,000. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> God, Finn, you're so old. I know. <laughs> yeah. But still younger than me. Yes, that's true. <laughs> I'm doing that I'm do that thinking emoji right now. Hmm. Yeah. I'm doing it too. <laughs> <laughs> there um, isn't much in the way nice. of gaming news this week. Not really. I know you do have one piece, though, that you I know you're dying to share. Go for it. <laughs> um, yeah, the only thing is, uh, that jumped out on me was that WWE 2K18 is uh, coming to the Nintendo Switch, which is weird. Yeah, what do you think about this? Um, hmm. Well, you know it's going to be a, a dumbed-down version because, obviously, Switch isn't as powerful as the PS4 and mm-hmm. Xbox One. So it's like, hmm, it's good that it's coming to the console, but would you want to choose it over the PS4 version? Probably not. Um, no. So, yeah. if it, hey, if it's good. It's a game changer because you can take it on the move with you. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, um, I'm concerned for it as well. I don't think it's going to be great. I hope I'm wrong. And to be honest, I'm really basing that assumption on nothing <laughs> because they could make a completely different version. But Maybe. based on the last game and based mm. on the game before that mm. and the way that these games are dealt with in general, mm. <laughs> I don't hold out hope for that. Yeah, um, I hope the I can't really say real, but I hope the PS4 and Xbox version don't suffer because of it. Like, I hope they're not dumbed down to make you know it make it playable for the Switch. Uh, I don't think that'll happen. I think it, yeah. I think we'll get the standard, you know, version for the Xbox One and the PS4. It'll be the Switch one that suffers. I, I mean, they won't they won't change the 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 two main sellers because that that'll be the ones that they make the money from PS4 and Xbox One. It won't be the Switch version. Oh yeah. Um, so it'll be that version that gets dumbed down, unfortunately. Yeah. But still, it's cool that it's coming out at all on the Switch. So It is, yeah. yeah. Uh, this is, this is a good thing for the Switch as well, because um, no WWE games at all on the Wii U. Uh, yeah, none at all. Uh, none yeah. for a long time on Nintendo consoles. So. Yeah, because they, they did bring some out on the Wii, but I right. have a feeling that the last one may have been like... Smackdown versus Raw 2008 or something I don't even know I can't remember I'm sure there was wrestling <laughs> there was West, there was wrestling games on the Wii hmm but I I can't remember what the last one was I'm gonna google it now you're gonna google it now ooh <laughs> but it, yes it is exciting and it is good news and it's very good news for the Switch that this is happening as well and maybe more third parties will put their games on the Switch yeah, uh, oh, you obviously go. they're um, not going to do it just based on WWE 2K18, but in general, though, people should do that. Yeah, uh, so WWE All Stars on the Wii, good game, uh, very good game. 
Uh, it's running at Reservoir 2011, it looks like, was the last one. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think that's, that was the last one, it looks like. I mean, I'm not even sure what they were like on the Wii. Yeah, I've yeah, not touched them. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, can't, I mean, obviously we were playing... See, there it is again, look. We were playing the other console versions. The good versions, well, hmm. the mediocre versions. <laughs> I mean, maybe there are enough people out there that their only console is the Switch. Maybe. So this isn't really going to be a problem, but... Mm. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see this could be out. the one and only time you see WWE 2K <laughs> on the Switch. Maybe, yeah. But I hope not. Hopefully. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it in the way of gaming news, to be honest. There really is not a lot going on. At least there hasn't been a lot happened in the next in the last seven days since we recorded this last, anyway. Yeah. Well, there's going to be a uh, Splatoon 2 uh, like limited demo, uh, time demo, this Saturday, which I'll be streaming on Daydreaming Gaming, so come check that out. Thing. Such uh, a Nintendo thing to do. Yeah, a weird one. Same same sort of thing they did with like arms and uh, I think they didn't do one before with Splatoon, with Splatoon, didn't they? Yeah, they did actually, yeah, because I played that one and it was good. Um, it's so difficult to get into when you first play it. Because it's, it's just completely different to anything you've ever played before. Yeah, and I picked yeah. it up and I was like, so what, what am I doing? I cover the whole floor with paint and then the people with the most paint on the floor at the end wins? Is that what That's this is? Pretty much, I think. <laughs> and I can shoot people with paint as well and I mean it's cool and it looks beautiful it really does um, so yeah I mean that's going to be worth checking out so uh, go check Finn's stream out of that on Daydreamer Gaming youtube.com forward slash Daydreamer Gaming yeah yeah <laughs> cool um, we do some wrestling news as well uh, something cool that was announced yeah uh, that Pete Dunne will be defending his UK Championship WWE UK Championship at uh, ICW's uh, Shug's Hoose Party. <laughs> it's, it's very Scottish. Uh, against, it's uh, very Scottish. In a fatal four way against uh, 27, Wolfgang, and BT Gun. That's going to be excellent. Yes, and they had a uh, video video um, announcing it on WWE YouTube, which is at an RTW event, which is very cool. Um, announced by an extremely Scottish man, which I didn't understand a word, but luckily they had it written in the description <laughs> so I could, uh, I could follow along. Well, did they <laughs> subtitle him? Uh, no, I just had it in the like, description. But they should right. have, because I couldn't understand, couldn't understand anything. Right, okay, <laughs> fair enough. Um, I love that they defend the WWE UK Championship not on WWE TV. Yeah, that is cool. Um, I think that's a really, really cool thing to do. Uh, and it's probably, I think without question, it's the coolest thing that WWE do. It's also one of the best looking championships that the company even has. Yeah, seriously. It's very cool. Um, so I love that. I love that uh, WWE is now not just exclusive to WWE, if that makes sense. Yeah, I think so. But that championship is treated like an independent championship. Uh, and I like that WWE is acknowledging wrestling outside of themselves. Yes, very good. Like when Pete Dunne turned up at the um, UK Championship tapings with the Progress Championship. Oh, yes. Which I very believe cool. he still holds now. Possibly. Yeah. Uh, some other wrestling news. Oh, yeah. Uh, Viper, if you're familiar with uh, with her... The big lady, the big lady, yeah, the <laughs> big. She's very pretty. We must give her that. Okay. Um, she has been entered into the May Young Classic. Uh, yeah, I did hear that actually. Yeah, cool. which I have a lot of time for because I really like her. So, uh, hmm. um, and if she's used right, she could be a potential winner there. Yeah, yeah. So we go. Cool. Uh, I'm looking forward to that. I think that's going to be really, really cool. I hope it's as good as the cruiserweight championship tournament was. Yeah. Uh, I or the so. Cruiserweight Classic, rather. It wasn't the Cruiserweight Championship Tournament, really. Uh, yeah. It sort of turned out to be that in the end. But, <laughs> yeah. um, I'm looking forward to this a lot. I think it'd be really, really cool. And it's a, a great showcase for ladies who aren't Alicia Fox and the likes <laughs> on WWE TV. Uh, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Good Sorry stuff. to drag Alicia Fox into there, but <laughs> you, you understand what I mean by that, right? Alicia Fox. Fox. Speaking of that ICW event, actually, um, Noam Dar's going to be there. Oh, is he? Yeah, cool. he's he's going to be there as well. Cool. Yeah, he, he made his name in like ICW and things like that. So yeah, that's cool. I th- that makes sense. It's it's cool that WWE have got a great relationship with them because that's a, a real up and coming company in this in uh, in this part of the world. So oh, uh, yeah. I think that's awesome, and it's smart by WWE as well. Very. I like it. Very. Right. Good job. More wrestling news. Wrestling. Wrestling. <laughs> um, Alberto Del Rio, who. <laughs> Or Alberto Alpatron, whatever you want to call him, it doesn't matter. Alberto Del Dickhead. 
that fits. <laughs> it fits perfectly. Yeah. Um, has been suspended by Global Force Wrestling. Good. Slash Impact Wrestling. Are they going by Global slash Force TNA. now? Is that it? Is that, are they going by that now? Is that it? I think so. Yeah. It seems that way. Because it's GFW Impact now, isn't it? I've no idea. I don't, I don't follow it. Sure. Um, I mean, I follow yeah. it on Twitter and stuff. And I, I find it so difficult to get into. As much yeah, as I same. try, I just find it so hard. Same. I've so. tried. He's been suspended. And try hard, not try. Um, for an altercation that apparently is, uh, they're calling it domestic battery, I think is what it's been called. Yes, apparently so. For an incident that happened with Paige in Orlando or something like that. I don't know. I mean, Paige took to Twitter to say, oh, leave us alone. It wasn't... Uh. Yeah, Paige's, like. yeah, Paige's family have apparently tore into Del Rio and given him some real crap. And what Paige needs to do here is just sack this idiot off. <laughs> Seriously, yeah. She's just going to ruin trouble. his career. Yeah. So sorry, he's going to ruin her career. Yeah, yeah, I know what I mean. If he but already so. hasn't, of course. Yeah. Um, but yeah, seriously, he's, he only seemed like trouble. Uh, even when we saw him at um, WTBW, he was like going nuts on the microphone, which is outside this out, obviously. Yeah. Um, and yeah, he comes across as kind of a nasty person, isn't he? Yeah, it's like I mentioned last week, like he did a shoot promo at the uh, the Slammiversary taping, I think, and he was uh, going off on WWE there, and it's like, look, you had your chance in WWE. You <laughs> messed it up for yourself. He obviously thinks he's better than... He is. Yeah, and yeah. He just comes across as a real dickhead, and it's, I don't know. I think the sooner Alberto Alpatron slash Del Rio slash dickhead is <laughs> gone from the world of professional wrestling, professional wrestling will be a, a much nicer place. Uh, yes, I agree. Um, I doubt he's going to be holding uh the uh, level was it level force championship for very long. Yeah, no, um, I don't. Oh, he's the champion, isn't he? Of course, because they yeah, unified yeah. the championships with him. Yeah, the world champion, mm, not good. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, as soon, as soon as he's unsuspended, he'll lose out. I'd, I'd imagine. You would think so. I mean, unless his name is cleared, and then all of a sudden he'll be, you know, top top of the uh, mountain again or whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know, but I just think uh, it's gone far enough now. I mean, something has to give with this guy, right? Um, but you think so, yeah. I mean, yeah, he's he's not a nice person from from no. what we hear. There we go. And, he's uh, not a nice person. Yeah, he shouldn't be holding. He shouldn't be holding championships anywhere. Uh, or representing <laughs> major companies. Go yeah, and do the exactly. indies. If you're gonna have to, if you're gonna swear all over the place and do all that sort of stuff, go go do the indies where you're not in front of TV cameras <laughs> and for the most part children. Yeah, seriously. Because we went to that WCPW event that was obviously being filmed for YouTube. And there was mm. children there. Yeah, yeah. And then there would have been Kids children at the TNA show. And there would have, you know, it's just, there's no need for it. Yeah, I agree. It's dumb. Oh, well. Yeah, he's dumb. He is dumb. Well, fuck Dario. <laughs> anyway, let's move on to Great Balls of Fire, which of course was this past Sunday. Yeah. I want to know who's still buying pay-per-views. Good question. But I know some people don't have good internet, or great internet anyway. Yeah. But... Surely you'd rather attempt to stream it on WWE Network for nine ninety nine a month or whatever you think than so? pay fifteen ninety nine or however much pay per views are now every two weeks because that's how thick yeah. and fast WWE pay per views are coming now. Yeah, that's a lot of money. It's a lot of money considering you can get two pay per views and the Kurt Angle documentary and all that sort of stuff and all that other content for just ten quid. See. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I was, I was skimming through, like, so I'm on Virgin, so I was looking, and they were like, WWE, Great Balls of Fire, book now. I was just thinking, no. And who the fuck is doing yeah. that? Yeah, seriously. I just don't get it. It's weird. Very weird. Yeah. Anyway, it was a great show. It was. Much better than the, and then a lot of people liked it, I think. Yeah, I think so. I mean, the card, we said it last week, didn't we? The, the card looked good. Yeah, it did. Great. Uh, and it turned out to be good as well. And I'm... I'm happy for that, and I'm happy that we got such a great show. Finn, run us through the results, and let's talk about our predictions and how we did. Okay, dokie. Right, so on the pre-show, we had the uh, Neville versus Akira Tozawa for the Cruiserweight title, which, uh, in my opinion, shouldn't be, depending on the pre-show, but whatever. Um, mm, yep, I agree. We both went for Neville, because he's the king of the Cruiserweights, and 
he's great and he's not going to lose on Bruce Liberty, let's face it. And, no. uh, and he didn't. <laughs> no, uh, but Tizawa put up a good fight. It wasn't that bad. It was, good, it was a good match, yeah. I was going to say, it's good, good length as well and the crowd went into it, uh, which makes a nice change. Look, look around, I'm going to give him time, <laughs> WWE. Yeah, weird. <laughs> weird, that. How, how, very, how very strange. Yeah. Uh, and it was a bit weird. Uh, Tizawa got like, landed on the ropes, uh, balls first, <laughs> and like, just never kicked the ropes and he like, fell to the floor. Kicked in the stomach and then got pinned. And that was kind of it. Yeah, I didn't weird. like the ending. I thought that it was so weird how it like ended with a kick to the stomach. Yeah, very strange. But yeah, uh, I, couldn't, I couldn't get my head around that. Like, I mean, the the balls thing happens all the time. <laughs> it's just true. And the, Neville does that kick to the chest as like a setup for like a running drop kick or something. Yeah. Usually. But then when he ended the match there, I was like, oh, okay. Sure, I guess. <laughs> was a bit weird. Was a lot yeah. is maybe just was actually injured and can't go on, but no, it's just kind of just weird, isn't it? Yeah, very strange. But yeah. good match, and of course, as predicted, Neville wins. Yep, it's point for point for us. One each for the Point for each of us. You can there's, words again today, as always. There's words. <laughs> <laughs> ding, <laughs> ding. Uh, so we had the first match of the night of the main show, uh, which was uh, Seth Rollins versus Bray Wyatt. Yeah, and, uh, um, good good choice of match to open the show, I thought. Yeah. Um, it uh, hadn't had the best of build-up, but they are two big, big names. And that's a, to be honest, your show is not in bad health if you can throw that match out first. Uh, yes, and still it. have a strong remainder of the card as well. Yeah, absolutely. And yeah, it's good. I um, enjoyed it. Yeah, uh, Bill was on top early on. Uh, Set in and fighting back. Um, uh, sorry, I'm trying to see what else happened. Uh, are you okay? Are you, are you struggling there? <laughs> my, so I just scrolled down the page and I couldn't find my notes again. There we go. Oh, okay. uh, so it ended when uh, Bray went to the outside. Uh, Seth went to attack him on the outside and then Bray like, thumbed up in the eye. Uh, ran in, hit the sister Rabiel uh, and won. Which is uh, cool. And Bray surprising. Yeah, very surprising. Yeah, uh, really surprising. So you I enjoyed had, it. Yeah, me too. Uh, so you actually had Bray to win this. Uh, I had Seth. So that's a point for you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually flexing. You can't see me. This is <laughs> nice. Uh, so yeah, cool. Cool that Bray gets to win a match. Uh, yeah, good. It's really surprising more than anything. I mean, obviously, I know I had Bray to win, but it was more of a long shot than anything <laughs> because obviously Seth had just been announced as the cover star for WWE 2K18, and they even mentioned it on commentary. So yeah, it yeah. was strange um, to have him lose. Although, yeah, I don't think it really matters because Seth. It's still Seth Rollins at the end of the day. He can yeah. pick it up and just, you know, carry on as he was, regardless of the loss. A loss for Bray Wyatt has the internet melting down, has them questioning Bray Wyatt again, and all this sort of stuff. So Bray needed the win more than Seth needed the win. Yes, I agree. Uh, yeah, Good I'm, decision. I'm happy with the result. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm. <clears throat> Good. Uh, so they had like an in-between segment. Uh, with Cesaro and Seamus. Oh, no, sorry. Um, Hardy, Hardy Boys, talking about Cesaro and Seamus. Um, Hardy say they break bars. Um, Matt with a bunch of like broken Hardy references to crowd goodness for. Um, I think surely they've got to break soon, right? I think so. I mean, they did the same sort of thing on Raw, didn't they? They were sort of teasing. Uh, uh, they, I mean, Jeff used obsolete and Matt was going wonderful and all that <laughs> other stuff that he does. And Yeah, yeah. Um, I think it's only a matter of time, especially with how things are going for the Hardys at the minute. Yeah, seriously. It all, all seems to be leading towards that. Yeah, so looking forward to it. Cool yeah, stuff. Me too. Uh, so then we had uh, Enzo versus Cass. Uh, it was a really good like package hyping up the feud before the match, um, showing what had been happening in the last few weeks. Yeah. And then there's another excellent promo by uh, Enzo More. Yep, he was awesome again. I mean, God, he's been so consistent. Like when he's when he's not doing his usual comedy shtick, mm-hmm. like the guy is really on point all the time. Yeah, he's great. Um, I think he's, he's going to be hanging around for a while uh, after this uh, feud is over. Yeah, I think so as well. I don't know what he's going to do. I really don't know what he's going to do. Yeah. Um, but I'm intrigued all the same. Um, yeah, I'm intrigued. I just don't know what he does. And that's. I think that's an issue because of his size as well. Um, mm. I, I just And he's, he's not great in the ring. No, I mean, he's not terrible, but he's, yeah... You can't, He's you absolutely can't. proven his worth uh, on the microphone. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, so yeah, so then uh, Cass came out with his new music. 
and oh. it sucks. Oh, it sucks. It's, it's really bad. It generic sucks. The heel so music bad. you can just imagine. <laughs> Uh, um, I think I likened it to a create a wrestler entrance <laughs> theme from WWE 2K. It's like one of them ones that... <laughs> the pre-made um, ones, yeah. One of the pre-made ones, yeah, that's just in the game. But it's just like a plodding, standard, heel, big guy type music. And it is awful. They've so had time. They've had weeks. <laughs> There's loads of time, to yeah. think about this. They start to spend, do a bunch of slow music and then do like a rewind and then more slow music I don't know it's bad <laughs> rewind I like Re- that yeah it's like a zip 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 you're zip, zip, so zip, zip. white yeah. I'm the I'm the whitest you are the whitest <laughs> can, like, I, can like, I can I can I get like a rewind scratching. please yes the scratching with the DJ wow okay <laughs> wiki wiki yes, okay <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> I, I've broken sunny uh, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so, so obviously the match, uh, Gas was dominant, as you'd imagine. Uh, lots of Gas hole chance, uh, for everybody. Uh, Gas picked up Enzo, threw him out the ring. Uh, Enzo managed to get back in the ring, bare, back, in, back into the ring barely, beating the count. Um, I'll look away from the screen for a second, and um, uh, Big Gas is covering Enzo, and he wins. So I'm not sure what happened. I assume he kicked him in the head or something. Correct. Big boot. Okay. Yep. Um, <laughs> That's exactly how that match should have gone. Yeah. Honestly, I was expecting a bit more after the match ended. I went into like carry on attacking him and just like throwing around more. Like, I was as well, actually. I was expecting that. Obviously, yeah. it didn't happen, but I was. That's what I was expecting too. Um, I thought it was. I thought it was fine though. I think that's exactly how it should have gone. Cash should have been dominant and got himself over because he's going to be the one that really is that really is going to push for championships and and could be a big time player. Yeah, yeah. Whereas Enzo, again, because of his size and his not stellar in ring work, that's, I don't know what the future holds for him, like I just said, but Cass, that's what he needed. That's the win he needed. It's not the music that he needed. But <laughs> yeah, he needs better music, but everything else is good. Yes, I agree. Uh, number two matches, we had like an ad for like the Kurt Angle 24 documentary thing, mm. and in which there was like Dixie Carter was just in there. I know, I couldn't believe it. I, I like, couldn't believe what? it. <laughs> Unbelievable. I'm going to watch yeah. it. I haven't watched it yet. I'm, I plan on watching it uh, at some point very soon and I'm really looking forward to it. He'll probably give me all the feels like all of those shows. Do. The 24 <laughs> shows are just like, you even see, like even in the trailer where it showed like Kurt Angle tearing up at the at seeing Vince McMahon, I was thinking, <laughs> this is going to, this is going to ruin me like all these <laughs> other ones do. They get me every time. It's like they film them and like tell the stories in such ways that you just, you just you're like you you're there crying. You're like, God, I love <laughs> wrestling so much. <laughs> it's still real to me, damn it. Yeah, it's <laughs> so good. But you know what uh, I mean. Yeah. I know exactly what you mean. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they give really give cool. you the feels. Yeah, <laughs> right. The feels. Oh, by the way, the predictions for Enzo versus Cass. Uh, you had Big Cass to win. Uh, I had Enzo by DQ. Got thought Cass would just go nuts and get the crap out of him outside mm. or something. Uh, but no, Cass won. So you get a point for that. That's uh, three one to you so far. It's a good start for you. Yeah, not great. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so hey, maybe had, we'll pull it back. Maybe. We'll see. Uh, we so, we had, so we had the Hardy Boys versus yep. Zara and Seamus in an excellent 30 man, 30, 30 man, Jesus, 30 <laughs> minute Iron Man match. Uh, yeah, it was yeah, great. I, I loved, it. loved it. And yeah. You loved it more than I did. <laughs> Probably, yeah. But I thought it was great. I really did think it was great. Um, and they did it in a brilliant way, I think, as well, because it could have yeah. been boring, but it wasn't. Yeah. Uh, to start with, Cesaro just like ran through the ring, out of the direction. Uh, Matt turned around, uh, like, what's going on? Turned back around and got uh, hit, kicked in the face by Seamus. And that was one, one nail straight at the bat uh, yeah. to Cesaro and Seamus. Which is straight cool. away, it was like the Hardy Boys on the back foot. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, I mean, I just thought, I thought they told a really great story with it. Um, like they had Cesaro and Seamus as the dominating team and, you know, the, and it, it made Cesaro and Seamus look like a very, very good tag team. Excellent. And I thought it was, yeah, I thought they did a really brilliant job of it. Yeah, yeah, same here. Um, it's loads more like broken moments as well, like deletes and like slamming his head into the corner on his turnbuckle. And yeah. just like going back like, bah, wonderful. Um, <laughs> Good impression. Thank you. Um, yeah, You're it's very cool. with the impressions these days. I am, yeah, I'm great, yeah. I think I'm yeah. to be a professional impersonator, man. Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> so then there's Sajoran Seamus <laughs> hitting like a top rope uh, double team white noise thing. Uh, get a second I don't pin. like that. I don't like it. It's rubbish. It looks crap. There's no point. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, Sajoran's role in that is, is just like to jump off and just be there and pose. Like, yeah, white noise. <laughs> yeah, double team moves. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, they get the point forward. That's 2 0 to uh, Sajoran Seamus. Mm. Uh, very cool. Uh, very cool. So yeah, during, during that like corner thing that Malady was doing, uh, the ref like counted to five, but well, counted to four, but then like waited for ages for Malady to finish his corner thing. So, so he could have easily disqualified him, but didn't. Which is yeah. a little bit weird. Because um, wrestling, that's why. Because wrestling, yeah. Uh, so yeah, then uh, Harley's hit like a side effects plus a twist of fate uh, to get another pin to get the first pin. Uh, so it's two one to them. Mm. Um, what else happened? Uh, Seamus goes for like the 10 beats of the whatever uh, but then stops because the crowd's getting along which I thought was cool because that's like a good heel thing good heel work from Seamus I thought that as well I thought that was really good Yeah, uh, good like heel work from Seamus I've got a lot of time for that yeah he's like push him out of the open so screw it yeah <laughs> um, if you don't no big swing anymore yeah I think it's because it's like a heel now and that's kind of a face face move like yeah. the crowd counts along it's like ah screw the crowd I don't do it anymore yeah fair enough well, um, I like the big swing yeah, me too. He'll be back. He will. <laughs> uh, so then Cesaro locks in like a uh, sharpshooter. Uh, Jeff breaks up. And then there's like a unique pin by the Hardys. Like Matt rolls him up and then Jeff jumps on his legs. Uh, putting his shoulders to Matt, which is cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. That was 3-2 uh, three, three, to them. Wait, did I miss one? Yeah. No, uh, three, no it was 2 all, right? Oh, no. Oh, no. There's one. Um, so Cesaro smashed Matt into the ring post and Matt got counted out. And that's one. Yes, that's, one that's correct, yeah. And so that's was, was that was that three one? Oh uh, yeah, that's three one. Okay, uh, and then they got the cool unique pin thing, which is uh, three, three two. two. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm back. <laughs> back uh, in it. Um, so Matt, <laughs> we recovered well though. We styled it out massively. <laughs> we did. <Yeah. laughs> so Matt hit a uh, basically looking uh, moon salt on the top. Um, and then the ref kind of did like a shoulder check thing, but which the crowd thought was a one count. So when he counted to two, the crowd counted three, and yeah, it was weird. Um, yeah, it was weird. Because uh, I, I wondered why the crowd counted three, because I didn't clock the ref doing that yeah, at first, but the crowd obviously saw something that I didn't, and, well, you <laughs> saw it, obviously, as well. But yeah. Yeah, I thought that was a bit weird, and I thought, oh, no, they've not balls this up, have they? <laughs> but uh, thankfully, they, like us, they styled it out. Oh, yeah, it was all good. Uh, so, yeah, but Matt hit a uh, twist of fate off the top rope, getting okay, another binfall to bring them to a uh, three-all. Yep. And uh, two and a half in his left. Uh Jeff goes for his one-to-one one bomb on Seamus. Uh, but Cesaro pulled him out of the ring. Uh, then the Hardys hit some sort of t- double-team top rope moves that team before. Oh, they, they always do that. Do they? You, what, you mean when they fly from alternative corners? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah they've done oh, yeah, years and years and years. They have, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Mal busted open his eye, bleeding everywhere. Oh, Ouch. God, yeah. It looked nasty as well. <laughs> it did, yeah. Like the, of, on Raw the next day as well, like, it looked still bad. Yeah, yeah, I had a bunch of stitches and whatnot. Bleeding everywhere. Loads of blood on this <laughs> pay-per-view, actually. Yeah, there was, actually, yeah. Um, uh, yeah, so then Jeff, Jeff hit a swanton on Seamus, but Seamus wasn't legal, and Cesaro rolled into the ring, pinned Jeff uh, for 4-3. Uh, and the time was almost out. Uh, Jeff chased Cesaro around the ring, hits his wrist of fate with two seconds left, but time went out on the 2-4. And uh, Cesaro yeah. and Seamus win. In classic WWE Iron Man match fashion as well, that. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's very Oh, true. there's a second left, but no. Oh, too close. No. Oh, who saw this one coming? Who? Uh, who? Yeah, but the time, I thought the timing was excellent uh, by both It was. Guys. It was very impeccable, good. actually. Yeah, very, very good. Uh, but it was a really great match. And um, this is obviously leading to something with the Hardys where they're going to end up broken if, you know, they keep losing matches and that sort of stuff. Mm. Um and I'm fine with it. The Hardys don't need to be the tag team champions right now. That's true. Um, but if this is going to, you know, them losing matches is going to lead to them being broken and obviously them having bigger storylines going forward because of that, then there's really no grounds for complaint. Yeah, it's cool. Um, so you had uh, Cesaro and Seamus to win. I had the Hardys, so that's another point for you. Oh, wow, Finn. Uh, yeah, I'm destroyed here. It's 4 1 to you. <laughs> <laughs> can you come back? I'm sure you can come back. Um, technically. Kind of. Right. Maybe. You are getting destroyed, <laughs> though. I am a bit. So yeah. then we had um, the women's uh, title match. Uh, Alexa Bliss versus Sasha Banks. Uh, it was another, again, another very, very cool match. Yes, it was uh, a good match, yeah. Very good. Uh, Alexa fakes breaking her arm with a weird double jointedness, which is very cool. 
Oh yeah, that was really really cool. <laughs> and then punched us in the face. <laughs> this yeah. came checking her. Michael Cole uh, was like, "This is the weirdest thing I've ever seen." <laughs> yeah, like, really yeah. ballistic about it. Like, like oh my god. <laughs> uh, yeah, but that was very cool. Cool spot. Yeah, it was cool. Yeah. And so yeah, focus on Sasha's bank. Sasha's back the whole match because it's Sasha's bank. <laughs> Sasha's bank. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I pulled off the apron and I just, like smashed her back on the uh, on the ring apron. Mm. Hardest part of the ring, don't you know? I oh, didn't know that is- actually. I'm glad you told me. Cat is now walking in front of the camera. Thanks for that, pretty cat. <laughs> oh, so, cat, cat cast. Cat, cat camera, yeah. Yeah. Hi, pretty cat. Um, so, yeah. Um, what else happened? I got distracted. Oh, there you go. So, so, so you got, um, so it goes for the uh, Sparkle Splash or the uh, Twisted Bliss. It's still the Sparkle, sparkle Splash. It's, it's always, it's always, I'm never going to stop calling it out. It's the best name ever. <laughs> it is, actually. I used to like her old music as well. I was really into it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's all right. Steve just texted me and put Hardys will be broken soon uh, yeah probably yeah. I agree that's literally a text that's just come through my phone there you go, a million notifications and there it is <laughs> Watkins well done Watkins uh, Hardys will be broken soon just catching up with Raw there you go you, you, you see mm. there it is smart man <laughs> he's a smart like us he is <laughs> yeah uh, um, so yeah <laughs> that's, that's a, um, locked in the bank statement uh, but luckily, Mr. Benz gets the rope uh, and then uh, goes to the outside and stays there and gets himself counted out. I'm not sure about this. I'm not, I don't yeah. like cheap endings like that because technically, I mean, this is happening too often as well because the Usos did it. They did, yeah, it's true. Uh, I don't like it because it just sets a precedent, doesn't it? Because anyone could just fucking do it. Yeah, yeah. You either don't have count outs in title matches anymore. Or I don't know. I don't. I don't know what the solution is because that's twice in as many pay per views that this has happened now. Yeah, I think. I think it's setting up like a tag, like a bloody cage match or like a Nuts World Creation match or something down the line with Sasha. Oh yeah, I don't, um, I don't get me wrong. I think obviously this feud isn't over, but that's right. not the point I'm trying to get across here. Like it's the it's the count outs in title matches. Yeah, if you're indeed. the champion, why even fight? Just roll <laughs> yeah. out of the ring. Yeah, yeah, it's true. It's done. Um, so yeah, so after the match, uh, Sasha attacked uh, Alexa. Alexa goes to the announce table, attempting to uh, DDT Sasha through the announce table, but then uh, Sasha throws her off and jumps on him for like a double knees, which uh, yeah. looked cool. Yeah, it looked really cool, yeah. And they, I'm glad that they it looked fairly safe as well. Yeah. Because there's one of two ways that's going to go, safely <laughs> or badly. And thankfully it was yeah. the former and not the latter. <laughs> uh, but yeah, good match, uh, good feud as well. I'm enjoying it. And... Uh, a little bit disappointed by the outcome, but mm. hey, it is what it is. It's fine. Um, so, so Sasha won, technically. Uh, we both had Alexa for this, so neither of us get a point for that. Okay. It's fine. Um, yeah, so we had, sure. Yeah. It's still 4-1 <laughs> to me. Finn's getting it destroyed. Is. I am. Uh, so we had uh, The Miz versus uh, the Dean Ambrose. The Miz. Uh, the Miz obviously had his uh, Miz Ranch with him. I hate that name. I hate that <laughs> name. And I hate what Bo Dallas is wearing. He needs <laughs> to have a word with himself. Yeah, I think that's the point. I think he's not supposed. To, I think he's supposed to hate it. <laughs> he's supposed but to. Curtis Axel looks so smooth in his suit. That's true. He does. <laughs> yeah. So uh, Dean goes straight for uh, Axel and uh, Bo Bodak- Dallas. Uh, once that, what's that, that, that was through with. Uh, it's just kind of the standard Miz and Dean match. It was it fine. Was. Good. Yeah, it good. Was okay. but nothing yeah, special. It was fine. No. It was all right. I thought. Um, I thought. I thought. I just thought it was okay. Standard interference, all that sort yeah. of stuff. Uh, standard Miz versus Dean match that we've seen uh, more times than I care for now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. It was like last time. Uh, Dean hit today needs. Uh, Reese pulled his leg onto the ropes uh, to break up the pin, obviously. Um, and then Bo Dallas hits Dean at the back of the head while the ref is distracted with Kurt Axel. Miz hits skull, uh, skull crushing finale for the win, and yeah, that was it. Miz wins again. Yep. Can this feud end now, please? Uh, yep. I hope so, it does. Uh, I really hope it does. Uh, it doesn't yeah. look like it is, although I'm not really sure what's going on at the minute. Um, yeah, it's a weird one. Yeah, I mean, I think probably what's going to happen here is, I mean, we'll talk about Raw, you know, briefly anyway, but it looks as though we're going to get some sort of triple threat at WrestleMania, maybe. That's uh, WrestleMania, Jesus. Uh, it can't go on that long. <laughs> no, wait, no, um, no. <laughs> uh, SummerSlam. Yeah, yeah. Which is fine. Yeah, yeah I'm uh, definitely so, fine with that, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so we both had uh, the Miz to win it. So we both get a point there. We both get another point. Yay. So it's 5-2 uh, five, five to you. Still Is there any way back for you now? Uh, nope. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Three matches left, I know. It's literally impossible. Uh, 
So yeah, so then we had uh, Roman Reigns versus Braun Strowman in an ambulance match. Or ambulance match, as they call it. Yeah, this was <laughs> this was cool. You know, I liked it. It was very old school. It was cool. Um, yeah, I, I, I just enjoyed it. It's fun. It was a fun match. Yeah. Uh, so Strowman was dominant throughout most of it. Uh, attacked Roman with steps. Uh, Roman has to avoid getting murdered as he like dodges, <laughs> like getting his head squashed between the, <laughs> the post and the steps. Yeah, was like, oh, it's steady on. <laughs> yeah. Uh, at one point, Vaughn hits a barrel slam, but then goes to the cover and he's like, oh wait, it's I'm in this match. <laughs> he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna stand up. <laughs> it was funny because they even spoke about it in commentary. They were like, oh, he went for the cover. He must just be confused. Oh. <laughs> yeah, and he just stood up and like, I meant to yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, um, wrestling wrestling <laughs> uh, so Roman hits uh, he managed to grab a chair and he hits uh, attacks him with the attacks his injured elbow although technically it was the wrong elbow but still okay um, it's dead mate it's dead yeah that's true well um, and truly dead <laughs> so he attacks his uh, the wrong elbow with the chair um, it's an impressive looking Samoan drop in the middle of the ring um well, that's happening. Go to, go to blah, 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 blah. They go over to the announce table, attempts a power bomb, uh, which Roman does. But, but Roman counters and gets thrown into the uh, side of the ambulance, just like mm-hmm. uh, the other week in war. Yeah, I thought that. I thought they can't believe they've done that spot again. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. It li- looked literally exactly the same as well. Like, there wasn't, it was just completely similar. Like, if you put the two bits of footage together, you wouldn't know which one was which. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Uh, so, yeah, so Braun's trying to get. Um, to put Roman in the ambulance, but uh, I guess uh, beaten, uh, beaten off, almost said. I guess uh, <laughs> fought off. <laughs> I'm glad he didn't get beaten off. <laughs> yes, yeah, seriously. Yeah. There was a, you know, actually, going completely off topic here. Okay. There's a, a at my work, there's like, they're trying to get people to do like exercise and stuff. Okay. And like the, the poster, like it shows different activities <laughs> and like stick figurines doing the activities. Yeah. Uh, and one of the, it's, it's like, <laughs> it says like, kick it, Whack it. And I was like, whack it? Whack it? <laughs> it's like, that's my sort of exercising. Yeah. Right there, whack it. I'll take a photo of it and I'll post it. But um, yeah, Amazing. whack it is a, you know, it's, it's an exercise now. <laughs> yeah, okay. Because sure. <laughs> it's your so, favourite exercise. Yeah, whacking it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Roman got beat off. Uh, uh, yeah, we got, we got beaten off. Um, <laughs> it's two, it's two uh, Superman punches. We haven't done dick jokes for a while. We haven't, yeah. We need to bring it back. Bring it back it's, good, it's good. I'm glad. To, I'm happy for the return of the dick jokes. <laughs> yeah. Or are these wanking jokes? Or are they both? I'm not sure. Well, bit, of both. A bit of both. Yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, so, Braun, it, it uh, almost gets put in the ambulance, but uh, gets uh, grabs a stretcher and beats, uh, with it, beats him off. Beats with him off. With the stretcher. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, but then um, he throws Roman up, up across the stage, looking super strong. And then... Uh, Go to a power slam, but then Roman throws into like an, the LED LED wall, back wall. Yeah, they love destroying that. Cool. And WWE love <laughs> using that graphic where it looks like it's broken. You know, yeah, where, yeah. where it's like white, you know, like the white noise screen. Yeah, yeah. Like that. Because it, 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 that's it's not broken like that. I'm having it's none not. of it. No, no, it's bullshit. No, it's completely <laughs> bullshit. Um, but WWE love that, so uh, yeah, just let them fine. carry on. Uh, it just makes me laugh. <laughs> yeah, me too. Um, so uh, Roman tries to drag uh, Braun to the ambulance, uh, but then throws him, th- uh, Braun throws Roman off the stage. Uh, Roman attacks him with a light, goes for a spear, but then completely misses, throws himself into the ambulance. <laughs> um, Braun blows the doors and wins. Uh, so Roman <laughs> I, loses by putting himself in the ambulance. I, job, I laughed so hard. <laughs> yeah, me too. Like when he Very flew funny. into the ambulance, and I was like, wait, that <laughs> that can happen? That counts. <laughs> Wait, they fought all this time and Roman just threw himself in there. Yeah. It's just the way he dived in and then Roman, and then Braun was just like, wait, what, what, what? And then closed the doors and it was just over and I was like, oh. All right, then, then Roman Roman got out and fought again. And it was like, oh. This <laughs> is, yeah. I thought they were going to uh, carry on the match or something. I was thinking, I, just, I was just so confused that it even happened. <laughs> it was so weird. Um, um, yeah, it was just, it was, <laughs> it was just hilarious the way he flew in. Yeah. Um, so yeah, Roman, uh, as Braun's celebrating, Roman opened the doors behind him and jumped out and speared him. Uh, hit him with the ambulance door to bunch. Uh, pushes, pushes him into the ambulance. And then uh, GTA's the uh, poor ambulance driver. Just pulls him out and throws him out. Yeah. And <laughs> drives Pull, off with the ambulance. Pulls him off. Yeah, pulls him off. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and yeah, he, <laughs> he drove around the arena a little bit. And then 
wild brawn that supposedly in the uh, back of the ambulance burst into a bloody van and smashed like, the whole ambulance and murdered him. Yeah. Rip. What a face. <laughs> yeah, what, good, a good, what a good guy he is. Yeah, he's <laughs> a real role model to children. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, I mean, um, he's just a, such a stand-up guy. I mean, you know, when, you, when you're trying to kill people and stuff like that, I mean, how can you not be looked at as a good guy? Exactly. Um, this this segment I enjoyed because of how fun and old school it was, like yeah. uh, attitude era type thing. Um, you know, WWE needs to have some serious insurance though. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Because we, Roman just can't be going around crashing, you know, the government's property. <laughs> yeah. Every week, because ambulances probably aren't cheap. <laughs> probably not. And what about the, the WWE truck? The aluminium WWE truck that they destroyed. As well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like crumbled to bits. Yeah, it's like <laughs> ma- a humongous dent in this bloody enormous truck. Yeah. Oh my God, there's a human being in there. And then all of a sudden the circus comes in and there's there's <laughs> people there with like filming the incident. It's like, why are these people even there? Yeah. Like, who, I like who how are these people? I like how Kurt like stumbled into the scene and like, looks around and is like, what? what? <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what do you, why do you do that? <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I'm loving Kurt Angle at the minute. Yeah, he, 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 so looks, he looks comfortable and uncomfortable at the same time in this role. <laughs> Yeah, I love it. Yeah, me too. Uh-huh. It's funny. And then but I, li- I did, I did like how he just sort of stumbled on with arms open. He's like, "Wait, what? What, what, what are you doing? <laughs> what just happened?" <laughs> uh, yeah, Damon Nibble came in and tried to crowbar the door open, but uh, failed. <laughs> yeah, there, there was no one then, bigger, uh, no one bigger to try and get that door open than Jamie just, Noble. Nobody. Yeah, Damon Noble, he's strong, he's the strongest man in the locker room. We know that. Yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> but what? what anno- it was annoying me how long it was taking to get the door open. <laughs> yeah. Um, but long enough for a Bob to match to break out. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> um, Jesus. Oh, by the way, um, by the way, uh, I had one for that match. You had Roman. So I win. Yeah, I get a point. Yay. 5-3. Congratulations. Five, three to you. Congratulations. I, I finally get a point back. Ding. <laughs> so we have uh, Cole Hawkins uh, rushing out uh, versus Heath Slater. Uh, in Bob to match, while they try and figure out if Braun is dead or not. Yeah. Um, of course, <laughs> so we, we won Balor chance, which I thought was a fair point because where's Where's Bala? No, no Bala pay per view. Yeah, yeah, no, no Bala versus the the Drifter. You couldn't yeah. fit that in there. No, 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 weird one. No, it um, took them long enough to get the doors open. They could have bloody had that match. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Uh, so then, so you can hear some uh, sounds in the background as the uh, ambulance arrives, uh, and the feed cuts for cuts to the fire truck, and then the other guys Heath wins off camera, which is hilarious. <laughs> by the way, you just hear the bell go. Yeah, goes, yeah. The winner of the match, Heath Slater. And it's like, God, they're not even, they're not even cut into it in the ring. It's like, yeah. what is this? Good job, funny. I like the way they did it, where it was sort of like, uh, they were rushing down to the ring and like putting their gear on because they didn't realise they were going to be wrestling and all yeah. that sort of stuff. And well, they showed like the... Sorry, go on. No, that's right, you go. Okay, I was just going to say, I like, I like the attempt at like, kayfabe going on. Like, yeah. oh, they're, they're, this one message, they've got to get some, mat- get some guys out, throwing up there unprepared. And uh, yeah, cool. And to be honest, it looked like they were actually having a match. Yeah, I'm sure they were, but the cameras might look on them. No, yeah, I mean, like looking like they were having a decent match, not a like usual sort of Kurt Hawkins effort where he gets <laughs> squished. Yeah, yeah, seriously. Like an actual match, and um, <laughs> then he just cut away, and Heath wins off camera. I'm sure he's delighted. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, so five, five people arrive, uh, fries open the door, uh, and then Vaughn's jumping out, covered in blood. Fire uh, people. You know, fire. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean. Yeah, the fire people. Yeah, the fire people. Yeah, it's like the village people. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, but fire. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, and yeah, Gordon kind of stumbled out, covered in blood, limped away. Um, I was totally expecting him to just burst out the ambulance, being like, oh, "I'm not finished with you." And I'm so happy that you said that because I was expecting when they were when they were faffing with the door, I was expecting <laughs> him to kick his way out of it and like do the Braun Strowman <laughs> roar thing. Yeah, I was so expecting. I thought wrestling is. I'm glad I'm not watching this with anybody because it makes wrestling so difficult to justify if things like that go on. <laughs> yes, but then it, it didn't happen. <laughs> yeah. you imagine though, he's just been like squished in this ambulance allegedly. <laughs> then he just yeah. was kicking the door off, and uh, part of me now wishes, thinking about it and how much it's made me laugh, that that should have happened. It really should. Yeah, but, uh, I liked it. He just sort of went stumbling off like Bigfoot back into the woods. <laughs> yeah. So I don't need help. I'm fine. Stumble. Bleeding everywhere. And <laughs> yeah. There was a lot there was a lot of colour on this because um obviously Matt Hardy bled. Mm-hmm. Dean Ambrose bled from the mouth. We did, yeah. And obviously Braun bled as well. Oh, nice. 
<laughs> and all, yeah, literally like he was smearing blood all over the trucks and <laughs> it was so weird. But it, you know what? I, I enjoyed it. And um, I mean, it must, I think it shows how much stock WWE have in Braun at the minute as to how much time they're investing in it. Yeah, seriously. It's like all oh, yeah, the time yeah, like, with Braun at the minute. Yeah, yeah. I love what they're doing with uh, Braun at the minute. It's great. All, all the Braun. All the Braun. All Braun. All the Braun. It looks like he's going to be off telly for a while, though. Uh, yeah, it looks like, looks like it for a little while. Until next week, and it <laughs> turns up as the Bobby Braun again. <laughs> it needs to be the... But the thing is, if he comes back, or when he comes back, surely he's going after Roman again. <laughs> yeah, probably. Maybe, when maybe does it end? Uh, What's the end of this? Yes. Maybe, maybe we're back at SummerSlam to cost Roman a match or something. Maybe like Braun throws Roman off a bridge or something, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. And then that's it, it's over. Yeah. Maybe we're just dead forever. In yeah. babe. Then come, goes TNA. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, GFW. Uh, yeah, whatever it's called now. Yeah. <laughs> Global Force Wank. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm, sh- I'm sure it's fine yeah it's, it's fine <laughs> so we had the, the main event which of course was uh, uh, Samoa Joe versus Brock Lesnar and it was good mostly I can't until the end tell yeah. you how hyped I was for that match because the video package leading up to it I was like I was jacked up for it yeah we jacked up for it uh, um, so <laughs> plenty so of all, all the masturbating jokes today <laughs> yeah can't, can't stop we've nailed it haven't we yeah we have yeah. It's, our, it's, our, it's our niche. We can't, it's with the, with the it is. Off guys. We're, we're the we're the jerking off <laughs> dick joke guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what what a, that? Oh, what a good what a good reputation we have. Yeah. So this podcast this week should be beating, whacking, and <laughs> pulling. That's what it. Yeah. Episode sixty six: beating, whacking, and pulling. <laughs> yeah. Jerking. Can't can't put jerking in there because it's just too obvious. Because <laughs> beating, whacking, and pulling is not. Yeah. The, yeah. I guess so. Sure. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, what has this podcast become? <laughs> I, 66 I episodes in, but it's just no old bars now. So now, nah, <laughs> I'm sure if you go and listen to 40 episodes ago... Um, it's the same thing. <laughs> I'm sure it's pretty much the same sort of thing, yeah. Dick jokes. Just all... Oh. <laughs> I'm lost for words. <laughs> yeah. We've lost it. We've basically lost it. We've uh, lost it, yeah. This is Mojo. You beat a Brock Lesnar yeah. a bunch before the match. Yeah, I loved um, it as well. I thought that's just a perfect start. Like yeah. if, if Joe's going to lose his match, which inevitably he's going to, then yeah. this is the perfect way to make Joe look good. Now, he's looked good in the entire build-up to this match anyway. And he, WWE obviously know now what they have in Samoa Joe, and he will be the champion at some point down the line. Oh, yeah. But this was perfect, and it looked like Brock Lesnar was sort of playing along. I know he should anyway. It's his fucking job, but... <laughs> yeah. He's playing along, and I'm I'm down yeah. with it. Yeah, it's cool. I like it. Um, so yeah, uh, after the beat down, Brock wants to clamber into the ring, and the match starts. Uh, and there's a cool, cool like little MMA star fighting going on for a little while. Mm. Which I liked. Um, Joe attempted to go kick the blood a few times, but Brock brought him off. Yeah. Uh, and then, and then came the lazy Brock match. Uh, I know. <laughs> I hated it as well all because the it was looking so promising. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, the German suplex after German suplex after German suplex, just like, we've seen this shit. We've seen it. Like, where was, where's Brock Lesnar from 2005 when he was doing the triple power bomb and the, the, you know, the backbreakers and the the big clotheslines and all that sort of stuff. The Brock that was really, really impressive. Yeah. Where's he gone? I just don't get it. No, I don't. fucking lazy. I agree. German, German, German. Um, he goes to the fourth German, uh, but Joe grabs a rope. Grabs a rope? Grabs a rope. Oh, the rope. <laughs> the rope. Uh, and then he grabs a ref and, like, load, load, lock, which I thought was cool. Mm. Uh, hits, you, hits you and Augie. I've uh, only got a two count. Boo. Yeah. Um, goes, get locked in the quickie, the clutch. Um, Brock's not afraid, but then he just, like, picks up Joe and hits a side slam. There. Uh, more Germans. Uh, Joe keeps on standing. Uh, goes to an F5, but Joe slides off, slides off and locks in the quickie, the clutch again. Um, we like how Heyman on the outside is great it's like no stay awake no yeah good him by uh, Heyman yeah, Paul's awesome Paul, Paul Heyman awesome. is just so good very cool um, so then uh, Brock Lesnar almost, almost bounces out but then just like it's nothing stands up hits an F5 out of nowhere and wins hmm. <laughs> I was disapp- I, I, I knew that Joe was going to lose I knew it and it yeah. was obvious anyway but I, there was still a little part of me that just sank when it happened yeah, I just don't like how he just stood up because he's like almost passed out and all of a sudden stood up, F5 win. 
It's like yeah, I mean to be fair to Brock, say. he <laughs> he was still selling the effects sort of after the match, like when yeah. they were sort of having a stare off with Joe and you know things like that. And uh, I've got a lot of time for that, and it looks like Brock is maybe finally getting it. But mm. I don't know when you've got more Germans in World War Two, I think you still yeah. need to. Uh, I still think you need to work on your ring ring act. Yeah, it's mm, I'm not a big fan of Brock right now. Well, I'm not. Uh, in the, I mean, I mean, no, I like I like the like backstage stuff they were doing but yeah, uh, yeah in the ring it's not bad well, it's just annoying it's just lazy and that's what it comes it across is. to me as it comes across as laziness and um, the worst of it is I don't see it changing like I, I you know mm. Brock is starting to you know creep a bit more promo time in there and um, you know he's seemingly selling a bit more but his own in ring work is still very much based around suplex. The, the, the German suplex and it's just mm. I don't know. It's, to me, it's just extremely lazy, uh, which is a shame because Brock was just an incredible, like truly incredible, one of a kind athlete. Like when he first came into WWE, yeah, uh, back matches. in the day. And I don't know. I think he's got rich, got a big name for himself, and gotten completely lazy. And it's it's just a shame and a waste. Uh, it is. I agree. Shame. Uh, so obviously, Brock won, uh, which you both had. So, uh, final scores there is uh, six four to you, and you uh, destroyed me. This <laughs> I brought Lesnar you. That's what happened. You did. You, you suplexed me to death. It was like a suplex for every win, and then the final win was an F five. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, there we go. And uh, so yeah, that brings grand total up to uh, you at eight points. Me with six. I'm back behind again. <sighs> Two ahead. Mm. Two ahead. I All right. Back. It's fine. That was a good pay per view. What'd you yeah. rate it? What, what'd you, what's your high school grade? Um, I like. Yeah, I would give it. I don't know, what, what are the bad points in that? Um, just the main event wasn't great. I give it a, a B plus. That's like World Wide Week. Give it a B plus. I'm giving it an A minus. Okay. Because it was good. There wasn't many missteps. I mean, we know we knew Joe was going to lose, and True. they did the best they could in making Joe look good in the loss, which is uh, honestly the best outcome we could really hope for from that. And that f- is enough for me, along with a very strong card. Like almost all the way through. Um, the only yeah, misstep for me was the Alexa Bliss result, not the result itself. The count out, yeah. The count out at the ending. I don't, I don't like that. I, I've just not got any time for that because it's just it cheapens title matches. Yeah, I agree. But um, otherwise, that, it was a great show. An A minus, yeah. I, I think, is fair. Yeah, that's cool. I'll take a B plus. Uh, as you said, the Alexa, Alexa finish wasn't the best. Cool match, but just not the best. But I do, I do like the um, after. Events day with the Sasha jumping up the table. I look cool. Yeah. Um, Miz versus Ambrose was fine, but we've seen it before. Yeah. Uh, Remember, there's is excellent. Uh, tag match was excellent. Um, I liked the little uh, Kurt Hawkins and C Slater kayfabe attempts Me too. going on. That was good. Yeah. <laughs> I enjoyed that a lot. Match of the year. Match, match of the year. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, just the main, main event called that down for me. Um, just a lazy Brock in this. Um, but yeah, other than that, good show. Like yes, it. very good show. So we've got Battleground, which is a week this Sunday. So uh, uh, WWE pay-per-views, once again, they're coming thick and fast, man. They just they don't are. let us up. They, can't, they won't stop. No, um, so we're, oh, we're, we're, we're prediction showing every two weeks now. Here we are, yeah. Wow. Um, speaking of wrestling news, which I just thought of, just remembered, uh, Austin Aries, it's gone. It's oh, vanished. Oh, yeah, no. No. The reason like apparently <laughs> being is that he wanted to be um, not in the Cruiserweight division, but in the main roster. Yeah, he should have been. I agree. <laughs> um, I think they should have put the cruiserweight title on him. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you're going to have him in the cruiserweights, have him w- on top. Because this seems like a waste of advice. Um, not that I don't like Neville, as frankly. I think it's great. But yeah, I don't know. It's, it's, it's a shame. It's a real shame that he's gone because I really love Austin Aries. I think he's a great talent. Uh, yeah. I saw a brilliant tweet, not from Austin Aries, but somebody having a go at him. And okay. um, it literally said, and I quote tweeted the, the phrase, it said, uh, don't want to be a cruiserweight? Eat some food then. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> they, uh, they were literally the words, eat some food then. Nice. Thanks Thanks for the advice, uh, Twitter helper. Yeah, thank, thanks for uh, thanks for that <laughs> constructive criticism. Really appreciate yeah. that. So that's good. It's a, um, it's but it's a real shame that Austin Aries has gone. To be honest, I thought he was in a good position in WWE. Like yeah. when he first came up to the main roster, like when he was on commentary every week and he was having really funny segments and uh, he was like using the dick jokes where look at my package and all this sort of stuff <laughs> yeah. before he actually started wrestling. Um, cool. And he was he was doing well. He was, you know, he was on WrestleMania on the pre-show, sure, but he was on WrestleMania. 
And yeah. He was he was having great matches. He was. I think they could have had him off TV for a few weeks and have him come back on the main roster. That would have worked. It would but, have absolutely uh, I guess, worked, yeah. Yeah. But I guess the WWE were just stub- too stubborn and wouldn't allow it. Because so. you, you, you could have sort of, uh, you know, gone for the Miz or something. I don't know. Yeah, exactly. Gone for the Irish title because he was still a, a face and he could have just gone for the Miz. But it's a real shame. And it's a loss for WWE because he'll probably go back to TNA, Global Force Wrestling, whatever. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, you know, or maybe go back to Ring of Honor or something and apply maybe. his craft there. But it's a real shame because um, you wait for so long for you know a talent like Austin Aries to come to WWE just for him to be taken away so quickly. So yeah, shame, real shame. Uh, so yeah, so that brings us to uh, Monday Night Raw. Raw, raw. <laughs> so uh, big gas and his new shady music starts to show. Show. <laughs> yep. Um, says a bunch of stuff. Um, talked about how he beat up Enzo at. Uh, Maybe a great of wire. Well, by the um, way, as soon as he started using words like <laughs> describing how tall he was and all that sort of stuff, I, there was only one way it was going. I knew it. Oh, yeah, of course, yeah. <laughs> uh, he said he wanted to be a uh, universal champion and nobody can touch him. Nobody's as big as me. And then, well, well, that's the big show. Um, yeah, it's a big show came out. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like, a, and he got a big reaction as well. Got a nice, uh, nice big chair for the big show. He's got a big beard. Yeah, so he has got a big beard. Big show, big beard. Yeah, <laughs> probably a big, probably a big Willie as well. <laughs> Maybe he's a uh, giant. He's a giant. I'm a giant. Uh, he is. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, big, big. So essentially, uh, kicked the shit out of Gas, and uh, Gas went off. So that's a future match. Yep, that's uh, <laughs> that, that, that's going to build until SummerSlam now. Yep, <laughs> definitely. Uh, so we had uh, Elias Samson singing about Finn Balor, and Finn Balor came out, and the match ensued. One of my favourite heels at the minute, Elias Samson. Yeah, it's cool. Just pisses people off. He does. <laughs> he's got a good look. He's, yep, he's he annoys big. people. He's big. Yeah, I yeah, like per- him. Perfect heel. <laughs> exactly, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, and Elias, Elias was surprisingly dominant to his match, I thought. Yeah, uh, he, he got some good offense in. I was impressed, actually. I, I, yeah. Uh, you know, it could have been a squash. They could have just had Finn Balor, uh, all 190 pounds of him, just come out and just beat the living crap out of Elias Samson, but they didn't, and I applaud them for that. Yeah, it's cool. Uh, Finn obviously did end up winning with the uh, coup de gras. Yep. And uh, yeah, this feud, this feud is weird. I don't get it. And hopefully it's ending now as well. Hopefully. But I don't know hopefully what Finn's going to do now. Hmm. Good question. Because it doesn't look like he's going to be entered into the IC title picture. He's not yeah. in the universal title picture, so he's not in the title picture at all. So he's, I don't know. I, <laughs> I just don't know. Yeah, I think, they're, I think they're planning something with Finn. I'm not sure what it is yet, but they're planning something. But it's like a heel turn. I can't, don't think it'll turn him heel, surely. Uh, I can't imagine they will. Uh, mm. I, I don't. In, no, I, I just don't think they will. Not for the amount of t-shirts and stuff that he sells. And saying that he hasn't done the demon for a while. Demon. <laughs> <laughs> Got to get there somewhere. Demon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so I don't, I don't know what the plan is with Finn. Could they turn him here? Could they put him with the bullet? With, well, the, with the gullet blub. Gullet blub. Uh, could do. Could do. That'd be cool. That would I'd be very cool. Yeah, I'd like to see it too. Have um, them dominate, maybe. I don't know. Mm, That'd be good. Very good. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, so yeah, after the match, uh, the holidays come down to congratulate uh, on the top of the uh, ring stage thingy. Yeah, strange. I don't understand Very that. strange. Uh, honestly, I was expecting a heel turn, but now they just like, beat the crap out of him as he's like, running back, going back to the arena. Or, or into the backstage, rather. Yeah. But uh, nope, didn't happen. Uh, the holidays came down and said stuff. <laughs> uh, teasing more broken stuff, like... Uh, Saying, oh, locker room saying, uh, maybe we should just fade away and classify ourselves as obsolete. <gasps> oh, I said, you said the thing that you said in. Hi, today. everyone cheer, oh, everyone go mental. Yay. yay. Delete, delete, <laughs> delete, delete, delete. <laughs> uh, so then the uh, Billet Blub, Gullet Blub interrupts. Yep. Um, and then the match ensued. Yay. Uh, Harley's on top at first, but then the uh, club take over. Uh, there's Boots of Doom, but Matt broke up the pin. Uh, Matt was on top until the, mat, until the, uh, the club take over again. Uh, Magic Killer on Matt Hardy and the club win. Good. 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 I know. I was, yeah. ha- I was happy about this. You know, I, you know, because this is obviously building to something with the Hardys with them losing. Good. And that's fine because obviously it's going to turn them broken. Everyone will go mental and they'll sell a million t-shirts and whatever. <laughs> yep. And then... I'll buy one. But yeah, me too. <laughs> but this is a win for the club. This is this is good. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. Good stuff. Being yes. the, elevate, elevating the, uh, the club while... Uh, do make do do work with the Hardys. Excellent stuff. Isn't it weird that a team can be elevated by losing? Yeah, it's cool. 
Yeah, um, I'm, I'm happy about it. I'm, 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 I'm down with it. Um, and a win for the club is good. Is good with me. Absolutely, nerds, uh, so, nerds. As far as the uh, club are leaving, uh, the revival interrupts. Oh yeah, awesome. I forgot all about and, this. Uh, yeah, walk, walk straight past the club and attack the Hardys. And I was like, yes, yes, this feud, yes, this is good. So this feud all day. <laughs> this feud oh, yes. all day. Absolutely. And um, you know the revival going to win as well because both in Hardys. Yeah, it's good stuff. Uh, I, I love that they're, they're back as well. I feel like they're back sooner than I was expecting them. Yeah. Um, Not that I'm WWE doctors or anything, but you know what I mean, <laughs> right? By, I, I I just wasn't expecting them to be gone for this short amount of time because his mouth was wide shut. It was, yeah. Not nice. But uh, yeah, good. Very happy to see the Revival back. Me too. Me good too. Stuff. That's awesome. And fuck, I'm excited for that feud. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so we had the, the Miss TV with the Mizzies. Mm. In fact, let me just make a little bit of a prediction here. Sorry to interrupt you. Okay. And fuck the Mizzies, by the way. Um, <laughs> I think maybe we could have a four-way tag team title match here at SummerSlam. Oh, yeah. Uh, the Club, the Hardys, Sheamus and Cesaro, and the Revival. Mm, that'd be good. Yep. I'll see that. That, uh, that is three heel teams there, but um, who cares? Kayfabe, right? Yeah, screw it. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> I like it. Therefore, it must happen. Yes. <laughs> uh, so yeah, the Mizzies. Uh, this this segment was not up to the Mizzies' usual standard. I thought he's been giving some shit stuff to work with recently. I think the Miz. I think um, yeah, like that bloody thing the other day, and uh, you know, like, sorry, the other week where uh, you know with the Lavar Ball, which we keep going back to, and all oh, that sort God. of stuff. But um, I don't know. I'm just it's Miss TV. I don't know Miss TV. The Miz is at his best when he's when he's fired up. You know, like that that time on Talking Smack that really mm. sort of made Talking Smack worth watching. Yeah, and yeah, that's like, very good. That is when the Miz is at his best. I mean, he's great anyway. He really is great. But some of the material that he's been given recently to work with has just been a bit garbage, and I'm not overly uh, pleased with it. Yeah. Um. So he gave uh, Bo and Curtis Axel a uh, best supporting actor, Mizzy. Yeah. No, it's like, you deserve a chance. That was funny. Yeah, I, mean, I thought that was good as well. Yeah, that <laughs> yeah. made me laugh. And then uh, gave movies the best, gorgeous, sexy, something, something. Uh, Mizzy. Yeah. Cool. Fine. Uh, best man went to Dean Ambrose. Nope, just kidding. It's a miss. Um, <laughs> and then uh, Dean Ambrose interrupted. And I was like, oh, can this feud just end now, please? <laughs> I know, I know. I, know. I, mean, I, like both, I like both these guys, but we've, we've seen this. I did think when The Miz was sort of running people down uh, during his speech and when he mentioned Seth Rollins like he did, I, I sort of thought then that this might happen. Yeah. Um, so Dean went down to uh, beat up The Miz and, his, and The Miz Raj, but then uh, Seth came out to help. Uh, and I backstage, Dean was like, hey, I don't need your help, man. It's not going to be like a shield reunion. And then the crowd booed. Yeah. I thought, good, good. I like this. Mm. I mean, it will happen eventually. Obviously, Cap. I don't need it. Uh, I have to be. Honest, I don't need it, but it will happen. Of course, it will. But I, I don't need it. Uh, yeah, I don't need it. Yeah, I think it's too soon. Give it. Give I it think another it year. Give it. Give it another year or so, and yeah, then do it. A couple more years, and then then we'll then we'll then we'll talk about it. Yeah, I can't endorse it. Not just yet. Not yet. <laughs> not just yet. Uh, so then we had a tag match: uh, Sasha Banks and Bailey versus Nia and Alexa. Yeah, I skip this. Um, uh, yeah, it wasn't great. Um. No, I Only because I was short on time. Only because I was short on time. Yeah, that's fair. Um, Nia and Alexa on top for most of the match. Uh, Nia goes to try and Sasha Banks on the outside. Misses. Uh, Bailey balls up Alexa Bliss and wins. So Bailey wins champion. So that's going to be a match. Possibly a triple that match at SummerSlam? Maybe. I Maybe. mean, they love SummerSlam. SummerSlam is obviously a massive... I'm assuming it's a joint event, right? Um, I'd imagine so. Yeah, yeah, it's got to be one right now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so then we had uh, Goldust versus R Truth uh, yet again, uh, and it was kind of slow and boring. To be honest, yeah, <laughs> um, it was okay. I think it was just a very like a filler type match. Yeah, nothing, uh, nothing, nothing too exciting. I mean, I thought Goldust promo again was excellent beforehand. I love what they are doing with Goldust. Yeah, but Goldust is great. Um, this feud needs to end, and Goldust needs to move on to something else. Yes. Um, yeah, so got this one with this uh, final cut. And uh, yeah, I wonder what R Truth does now. Hopefully, nothing. <laughs> I don't know what either of them does. I don't know what, what, what do you actually do with Gold Dust. That's the thing. Yeah, I don't know. Do we the red page right now? Yes, I agree. Um, yeah, so we had um, 
Well, uh, Kurt Angle segment, um, talking about the ambulance match, uh, saying about Braun, Braun has disappeared, shrug. But here's uh, Brock Lesnar. Yay, Brock Lesnar. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone cheer Brock Lesnar. Yeah. Uh, it's Paul Heyman says a bunch of stuff. And then uh, Roman Reigns interrupts. Uh, Roman says he wants a title match against uh, Brock, uh, Brock Lesnar because he beat up uh, Braun and almost murdered him. Uh, uh, Heyman goes to agree, but then Brock Lesnar grabs a microphone. Uh, that was a mistake because Brock immediately just said it's a bad word. I know. That's <laughs> another thing as well. He just doesn't play by the rules. Yeah. He's an idiot. <laughs> he said, oh, like, you don't deserve shit. So, oh, for God's sake, Brock. You can't say that word. <laughs> and he knows he can't as well. He knows it. Yeah. He Idiot. knows he can get away with it as well. Which is why, which is why he does it. Well, that's true. <laughs> uh, sure. uh, that's why Raw's on a delay for stuff like this. Yeah, seriously. That's why Raw's but, on like a 30 second delay or something like that. Just so that idiots like Brock Lesnar can say shit and piss and fuck and cunt on, t- on, t- <laughs> <laughs> on TV. Yeah. God damn it, Brock. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So then uh, Joe, uh, Tomorrow Joe interrupted. Uh, and uh, we like what they were doing. They were like, they had this like intense stare off between Joe and Brock. Uh, Roman Reigns was also there. It's good, man. There's a, <laughs> lot of, there's a lot of dick measuring during this. Yeah, yeah. They're like, hey, if you, you come near me, I'm going to knock you out. And you, I'm going to knock you out. And it's, it's like, hey, no, I'm going to knock you out. It's like, all right, yeah. come on, guys. It's not a pissing right. contest here, guys. Come on. Calm down, calm down. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, very good exchange between the three of them, I thought. Yeah, I thought good it was stuff. great, yeah. I really, really enjoyed it. It's probably, I think it's probably the best bit of Raw for me. Yeah, me too. And they announced that next week it'll be uh, Samoa Joe versus Roman Reigns and the winner will get to fight uh, Bog Lesnar at SummerSlam. Prediction? Cool. Nobody wins, triple threat. Probably. Because what, <laughs> what like... the hell does Joe do otherwise? Yeah, seriously. Um, well, like I said, I'll, uh, Kurt said, they have to fight now. Um, the match will be off and they want to get a title shot. And then Paul Heyman's in the background saying, fight, fight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fight him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think that match will end. I think it'll uh, some sort of shenanigans, double count out, double DQ, something, and yeah, yeah. Uh, triple threat match at SummerSlam. And I'm I'm fine with it because nobody yeah. wants to see Roman Reigns fight Brock Lesnar because who's the? I mean, Brock Lesnar's all, all, automatically the good guy in that match. But um, yeah, I don't I don't know. I, I think yeah. it could be triple threat, but uh, I don't know who wins. Yeah, weird one. Not Brock, uh, hopefully. Not Brock, over there. yeah. He will, though. He'll keep it to Mania. Ugh. Oh, I'll just crash my nose on camera. Gross. Sorry. <laughs> that's fine. I did the same last week, actually. <laughs> Give a goodness even there. It's like, oh, I'll just crash my nose, pick my nose. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Oh, wait, camera. <laughs> 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 um, so, yeah, during, like, uh, uh, the announce team saying stuff at the camera, uh, Corey Graves got a mysterious text and wandered Ooh. off. Um, and they're, like, they did, like, a backstage thing saying that it's a secret that could destroy Kurt's career and it's like family life and that they'll be going public with it next week. And what do you uh, think it is? I don't know. I was trying to think about it and I don't know. I mean, I've seen rumours that it's like he's had an affair with Stephanie or... <laughs> uh, I, oh, I know. Can't believe uh, that. <laughs> or even like uh, they're going to bring Dixie Carter in and there's going to be something to do with her. I mm, mean, it is, it, mm. it is in Nashville next week. Interesting. And Dixie Carter was on that triangle thing. Is she from Nashville? She is, isn't she? I think so. Yeah. So it is in Nashville next week, so it could be something to do with Dixie. Um, I, hope, I hope not. That would be really weird. I wonder what I could do with that. Like, the can't, the can't mention TNA. Well, that's it, but, yeah. But everyone knows who she is. Yeah. Mood, Mood is having, having an affair with Dixie Carter. <laughs> I don't want any of that stuff. But who does that no, lead to a match with? Weird. Who cares about that? Yeah. Surely it has the end game of this has to be a match. So if it's gonna be something to do with Stephanie McMahon, then the end game is a match with Triple H. Yeah. Fine. What's uh what's E C three doing these days? Oh he's still in T N A or G S. Yeah. Oop. I'm always gonna call it T N A regardless of what it's called. Yeah, same. Weird one. So they called it it's decided calling it Impact Wrestling, everyone still called it T N A. Yeah, yeah. It's always gonna be T N A. Yeah, it will always be T N A. Yep. <laughs> Forever. Forever. There's no escape in T N A. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so then we had uh, a tag team match, a cruiserweight tag team match. It was uh, Tozawa and Cedric versus Neville and Noam Dar. Mm. Uh, and it was good. Yes, it was, it good. was good. Yeah. Has Noam Dar even won a match on TV? <laughs> he didn't seem like it, no. It's been a while. It feels like he yeah. hasn't ever, uh, has just never won a match. Yeah. Weird one. Yeah, oh well. I like him as well. I really want him to do well, but... Me too. For some reason, I just don't see it. Yeah, it's been it's been a bit of a weird place. The whole uh, Elisa Vox thing is like, when's he over here? 
again like so many other people <laughs> yeah just too, there's uh, too many too many people yeah I agree maybe thin the herd a bit I mean maybe I don't know maybe give us you know keep guys like Noam Dar but get rid of some of the crap you've got I mean <laughs> we just talked about gold dust and our truth like well, what's their purpose on TV every week yeah very strange um, but yeah so uh, match ended when uh, much like last night it was Neville on the ropes this time and then uh, Tazara like, tagged in kicked the ropes uh, kicked Neville in the balls basically <laughs> hits his uh, sense on one top rope and uh, won the match yeah, so Tazara pins, pins Neville hmm I like it. Cool. Um, yeah. I like that Tazawa is being utilised as he is. Yeah. Where I are like some it. of the other guys, by the way? Where's um, like Lince Dorado and people like that? Yeah, I mean, they'd pop up onto a white library down there. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. Nobody watches that, so no one, no one notices. No one notices. <laughs> True, yeah. I mean, yeah. My, my, myself included. I can't even uh, badmouth people who don't watch it because I don't either. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I try I to. A, I had good intentions. Yeah, I tried to have none in, but I don't know. I was so busy with not watching. Too much it. wrestling. <laughs> too, much, too much wrestling. It was too much. Uh, so we had a rematch from Great World of White. We had uh, Seth Rollins versus Bray White. Mm. Uh, it was good. I liked it. Yeah, it was good. It was a good match. I liked it uh, a lot. Um, it was given, given time. This was the main event of Raw, of course, and it was it was, it was good. I did enjoy it a lot. Um, what was interesting here was, once again, Bray wins. Yes, very good. Two in a row for Bray. New record. <laughs> Good job, Bray. What's also interesting here is that Seth Rollins lost, but the Miz, the IC champion, is coming down to attack him after the match. So yes. Seth Rollins loses, but doesn't lose because he's clearly in an IC title feud now. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Interesting. But Bray yeah, wins, but just walks off. He vanishes, yeah. Literally. <laughs> Literally, vanishes, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Strange. Uh, so yeah, Br- Bray hit like a headbutt until Seth injured eye, which injured that... Uh, with the fire, and uh, it's just arrived out again and uh, won. It just sold really well as well. I thought got land on his neck and like look cool. Yes, um, good to use the uh, the eye thing again. Yeah, uh, cool. good to good to do that. And to be honest, any win for Bray is a win for me because I uh, I, I like Bray a lot. I you know he should have had longer with the championship. Like I said this on Sunday when I was doing the stream actually, but I just feel like he should have had longer with the championship. Yeah, I agree. But uh, I'm I'm hoping that once Brock is out of the way, we're going to see different people going for the Universal Championship and that Bray is one of them. Hopefully. I'd take Hopefully. Bray in the IC title picture right now. Yeah, me too. Needs more Bray. More Bray. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, so yeah, after, after the match, uh, the Miz and the Miz were attacked. Uh, Dean Ambrose came down to make the save and then uh, beat Miz to death with the chair. Yeah. <laughs> Poor Miz. Poor Miz. <laughs> the Miz. The Miz chairs match up. So don't, please don't. <laughs> please don't. I think it'd be a triple threat. I think uh, Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins will turn on each other, and uh, then the Miz will be involved in some way, yeah. just being there. And this oh, will be a triple too. threat at SummerSlam. So we've just actually saying that if if I have my way, every single match is going to be like a fatal four way or a triple threat match. <laughs> yeah, as you said, there's too many people. Too many there is. Going on. But that's the thing you see. What what you either put people in pointless feuds or you have them do something decent. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing wrong with multiple man matches all the way through the card, really, if it if it makes sense. It's just yeah, WWE really going with that, but yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a weird one. Big time um, weird. So yeah, so that was Raw, and it was. Uh, what do you give it this week? B. Yeah, yeah, but it goes. Mm, yeah, yeah, I'll give yeah. it some B as well. Just B, but I mean, just there was some B. good it's stuff fine. in there. Some good, some, <laughs> some good stuff. Some not great stuff. Uh, but B, I mean, don't get me wrong, this is still better than what it has been, so um, we shouldn't really complain, but still, just B. B's fine. Yeah, it's fine. I'll look, we'll look forward to Kurt's mystery thing next week, whatever that'll be. Yeah, me too. And hmm. I'm looking forward to seeing more Joe, uh, more Roman. Uh, obviously, I don't think we'll see Brock for a couple of weeks now, probably. Oh, yeah, he'll be gone for a while. But So Joe, Roman, and Paul Heyman are going to have to carry this on for a little while. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think it'll be, uh, Rory will be interesting next week for sure. Yeah, good. Uh, which brings us to uh, SmackDown. Yes. Uh, so AJ Styles won the US Championship on the bloody house show at Madison Square Garden. Unbelievable. Yeah, weird one. Well, I text you on, I can't remember what day it was, Saturday morning maybe? Something like that, yeah. Like, uh, AJ Styles won the belt last night. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah. <laughs> so that was a thing. But So that was cool. Um, AJ Styles is the United States Champion. And he opened SmackDown with the United States Championship Open Challenge, much like John Cena used to do back when he was the champion. Oh, uh, yeah. It was cool. And who wants it? 
It was John Cena. Woo do do do. Still getting booed out of the building every week. Yeah. He's still great though. I still like him. No, I still uh, like John Cena as well. Big match yeah. John. He is. Uh, so uh, ref came down in the end. And about to start the match, but then uh, Kevin Lynch dropped it. Uh, Good. I didn't get a match, blah, blah, blah. I'm uh, fine with this as well. Me too. Uh, and, because uh, they don't, 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 don't give AJ Styles versus John Cena away again. Oh, no. No, put, no, put, no. Put a baby, wasn't he? Give us a typical SmackDown tag team match instead, please. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Tell you long. Yeah. Hola, hola. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, uh, Kevin Lynch dropped in and then Rusev came out of nowhere to attack Cena. And then uh, Kevin Lynch took a powerbomb onto AJ. And uh, yeah, tag match then, let's know. Yep, <laughs> absolutely. It wasn't announced there and then, it was just announced. Yeah, it was, just, it was obvious, <laughs> it was, wasn't it? Yeah, it was announced during the break, because of course yeah, it yeah. was. Of course it was. Because Smackdown. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, so we had uh, Jinder Mahal, WWE Champion, Jinder Mahal, yep. uh, versus Ty Dillinger. And yep. poor, poor Ty. Um, well, I think this match, wasn't he? Ty's found his place on the SmackDown roster now, hasn't he? Uh, Unfortunately, out every week. I mean, in <laughs> fairness, he's losing to the WWE champion. Yeah, uh, who he would have absolutely beat this <laughs> time last ago, yeah. year. <laughs> oh yeah, good months ago. Yeah. Uh, um, to be honest, was... I'm fine with it because mm. you have to keep having Jinder win matches. Yeah, I just felt bad for Ty because he was he came in like so strong and everyone had the ten chance and now they're dying down a little bit and like Ty isn't really doing anything. No. Yeah. Poor Ty. Poor Ty. Um it's a shame, uh, it is a shame. <sighs> but the thing is, again, this is it's like there's too many people. Yeah. It's, it's that true. same thing again because you you know, look at the big hitters in for the US title. Yeah, AJ yeah. Stars, top, top guys. John Cena, Kevin Owens. It's like, how does Ty Dillinger fit in that? Yeah. I, mean, I know we had a good showing in the uh, American Battle Royal last week. America. But I just, I can't see how Ty Dillinger fits into this. And mm. other than just losing matches every week, like he was on NXT before people started <laughs> doing the 10 chance. And yeah. I don't know. Everyone won his feet soon. I like him as well. Me too. Uh, so after the match, uh, Ginger does his, the same promo he's been doing for weeks now. Mm. Uh, Honestly, I kind of bored it. I'm not cool <laughs> with it. I'm not cool with... Uh, the WWE have done this promo time and time again with many yeah. different uh, ethnic athletes. Yeah. It's boring um, now. Yeah. Um, I like Jinder. I like Jinder as champion as well. I'm I'm, I'm down with it. Me too. The, the I problem, think they need to find more like material for him. And the problem I have that, with this promo is that he talks too deep. And I don't feel like the crowd <laughs> can hear him. Yeah, it's like, you don't like me because of the colour of my skin. You don't like me because I talk weird. You don't like me because of this. It's like you Jindy, don't like you, me because, yeah. He's like, it's like right, Ginger, you're from Michigan. <laughs> yeah, you And you talk American. Canada, yeah. <laughs> like, you, you, don't, you don't sound like a poo off The Simpsons. <laughs> you know? Uh, the, yeah. I'm not sure you can really justify this promo. Because <laughs> you're, you're American. <laughs> it's very American. strange, but... Hey, WWE just love doing this type of thing and uh, they'll continue to keep doing this type of thing all the way, you know, in about 20 years time when we're still doing this. Yeah. We're talking about some other Indian dude who's from America <laughs> and he's doing the same promo like Mohammed Hassan did and Davari has done and, you know, all of the, the Iron Sheik, Nikolai, all of these people who are from different countries have always done the same thing. Yeah, Rusev. And, and Rusev as well. America yeah. hates me because I'm not from this country. <laughs> yeah. And that is just such a WWE thing to do. And it's a way to get cheap heat. It really is. And it and it still works, unbelievably. But Jinder needs to... If he's going to hold on to the championship beyond beating Randy Orton at Battleground next week, he needs to change the tone of his promos. Because this won't fly forever. Yeah, I agree. He needs to find something to fresh him up with. Yeah. Um... So yeah, so after that we had uh, a singles match, Jay Uso versus Xavier Woods, mm. uh, during which the New Day and Jimmy get involved, but then it ref kicks him out. Um, good refereeing. Well, Finally, some yeah, good. Che- cheating <laughs> has gone noticed and they've been kicked out for it. Good. Yeah. And uh, was a bit short though, I thought. Could have gone a bit longer. Um, yeah. yeah. Xavier yeah, ended up winning with like a weird elbow drop while Jay was hanging, dangling on the ropes. I was like, just let go. You'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, if you let go, Xavier was misses, and you can do like a roll up or something. Yeah, 
But uh, nope, he just held there while Terry Woods jumped on him. Yeah, and, Be- because uh, wrestling. Terry won. It's yeah, like wrestling. it's like that Del Rio movie he used to do where like they would, <laughs> like he would like do, do like a double stomp while they were holding onto the rope onto the turnbuckle. Yeah, it's like, just don't just do that. Weird. You see, yeah. you see people do it every week. Don't do it. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that was the thing. Wrestling. Um, wrestling. Um, uh, so we had a yeah. Uh, oh, what well, what have we got here? Oh, they announced sorry a five, fatal five way elimination match at Battleground, uh, between Charlotte, Becky Lynch, Natalia, Tamina, and Lana. Yeah, and then the winner will face uh Naomi at SummerSlam. Uh, so yeah, that was that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I'm fine with it. I mean, this yeah. you know it's, it's fine. Not sure what Naomi's going to do at Battleground. Probably nothing, but that's fine. When is it? Is it next week? No, week on Sunday. Yeah, yeah. Um. Yeah. Sure. I don't know what Naomi's going to do either. Shrug. But she's got Shrug. a glowing championship, so she does. It looks cool. I like it. Yeah, <laughs> me too. I think it's cool. Uh, so we had uh, Shinsuke Nakamura versus Baron Corbin, except we didn't because uh, Nakamura attacked before the match. Yeah, and then broken up by uh, guys. Yeah, I like it too. <laughs> Just guys. Yeah, I, li- <laughs> I like this feud a lot. I think it's pretty cool. Um, I I like that they're obviously showing that Nakamura can stand toe to toe with. Um, Baron Corbin and someone of his yeah. size but yeah uh, I, I like it um, it's a weird thing going on here because obviously Baron Corbin is gloating about being Mr. Money in the Bank mm-hmm. I'm not sure what Nakamura's fighting for um, well Corbin's like attacked him backstage a few times yeah and it's like oh you're attacking me because you're scared of me he's like oh I'm not scared of you blah blah and uh, it's, a, it's measuring dicks again isn't it pretty much yeah yeah <laughs> Fair enough. I, I, to be honest, I like Nakamura. Um, I like Baron Corbin. Uh, I don't you... like the artist moniker. I must be honest. Yeah, this week's not. I haven't done it in a while. Yeah, they they used it this week. Did they? Oh, okay. yeah. They also called <laughs> him a rock star as well. Yeah, I don't know. That's fine. I just don't whatever. Know. Yeah, sure. It's just Nakamura on TV. So I'm fine with it. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I'm cool with this feud. I've got no got no real problems with it. Yeah. Uh, and they're gonna be fighting in the background as well, so that'd be cool. Cool. Uh, so we had a tag match, which was uh, Charlotte and Becky Lynch versus Tamina and Natalia. Mm-hmm. Um, it was a match. <laughs> yep. Charlotte, Charlotte and Becky on top, and uh, Lana came down to distract Charlotte, uh, and then Natalia made the tag, and got kicked in the head by Tamina and uh, won. Tamina won. <laughs> Tamina, Tamina won the match. Good for Tamina. Unbelievable. Well, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, yeah congratulations. Let's, in fact, let's give her a round of applause. Yeah, yeah, well <laughs> There we go. Yeah. If you're listening uh, to the audio, that sounds like masturbating. But if uh, you <laughs> watch the video, you can see us clapping. So that's good yeah. times. What what's the video? Link in the description. Um, <laughs> so so uh, backstage, Maria Canellis is looking for uh, Sami Zayn uh, for an apology. Uh, Sami finds them, and then uh, as he's apologising, he is slapped in the face by Maria, and then Mike picks up a vase and smashes it over Sami's back. Yes, oh. this is oh, what sure. I've been waiting for. Yes, this. <laughs> so yeah. now. It's- this is what I wanted. I wanted um, Mike to just go nuts when Maria was pissed off. That's what I wanted. Yeah. And it's it's, it's, it's happening and I'm good with it. Um, this will be obviously to be a match at Battleground. It'll be Mike Bennett's first match. Uh, Mike yep. Canellis, rather. It'll be his first match in a WWE ring and it'll be against Sami Zayn. And I'm looking forward to it. I think Sami's a good person to have your first in-ring match with in WWE. Oh yeah, absolutely. Just look at Nakamura versus uh, Sami at I mean, uh, NXT. I mean, don't get me wrong, Mike Bennett is not Nakamura, but Mike Bennett is right. a talent regardless. So he's very good. Yeah, um, I yeah, I think that'd be good. I, I've liked this feud. It's, it's it's been a feud built on well, nothing really, just Sami yeah, interrupting just... and pissing her <laughs> ear off, and I'm sort of cool with it. Yeah, I yeah. like it. Yeah, good stuff. Give him something to do as well. Absolutely. While everyone's fighting for the US title. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. Well, yeah. once everyone's fought, finished fighting for the US title, Sami will still be doing nothing. So, probably uh, poor Sammy he'll be putting people over that's what he'll be doing yeah probably uh, so we had a uh, funny another funny uh, Rizango segment it was uh, the runway walkers Texas Rangers yeah Rizango, that's Texas. it yeah because of Bridget. Walker cause, because Walker Texas Ranger excellent yeah. uh, God, these guys are knocking it out of the park every week man I, I, so funny <laughs> so so funny that, but again I think they've been new dayed like I think I said this last week as well it seems like they've just been given free reign to go out there and act like fucking idiots. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. And I'm fine and it with it. Yeah, it's great. I'm so fine <laughs> with it. <laughs> so Tyler tries to use a lasso on Tag Rider, but it's like to tangle himself up in it. And it's funny. <laughs> it's so stupid. It's so stupid. It's so stupid. Uh, but I'm, I'm but, with it. I really am with it. 
But yeah, the Mojo came in and was like, why are you wasting your time with these guys? We need to go and win matches, blah, blah, blah. And then they both, both buggered off. And then um, they noticed that uh, someone stole bloody um, Fandango's horse. <gasps> Who could it be? <laughs> <laughs> it was Who ghosts. do you think it is? It was ghost aliens, obviously. Of course. Yeah. Uh, but I don't know. I know it's going to end up being. But uh, no. I like it. <laughs> I like, I like it too. On. It's funny, and I hope they drag it out for a couple more. We'll probably find out a battleground, or and then lead to a match maybe at SummerSlam. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm cool with that. Yeah, that sort of makes sense. <laughs> it's like a WWE thing to do, isn't it? They'll they'll continue like their investigation until until battleground, and they'll come to fruition. Then they'll be in the ring yeah. or something. Then the people who've done it will come down. Yeah, yeah, awesome. Uh, so we had the main event, which was a tag match with uh, Cena versus Cena and AJ Styles versus Rusev and Kevin Owens. Uh, it's good. It's a good solid attack match. Um, nothing special really happened other than it was a good match. Yeah, uh, that's it. That's pretty much it, really. Yeah. Um, I'm fine. I mean, this is a typical SmackDown thing to happen, a tag match yeah. in the main event based on the opening segment. Um, two cool feuds, uh, because obviously we're going to get Kevin Owens versus AJ Styles in a rematch for the US title at Battleground. Battleground. Mm-hmm. And then, of course, we're going to get Cena versus Rusev in the flag match. Yep, still don't know what the flag is, but... Nope. I think <laughs> you just have to grab your own flag. I don't even know. Something like that. Sure. Uh, yeah. But yeah, it's a cool match. Uh, Cena won. He pinned uh, Kevin Owens using the uh, uh, Attitude Adjustment. And yeah, all Cena wins. I'm glad he pinned Kevin Owens and not Rusev. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. Good way to do it. Yeah. But and yeah, uh, fine. Yeah, that's right now. Yeah. What do you go to SmackDown? Um, B. B, another B? Yeah. Yeah, I'd say B as well. Yeah. I think SmackDown's worthy of a B. It was it was fine. Yeah, it was um, fine. Yeah, it was just fine. Nothing too exciting, nothing too shabby. So it was just fine. Yeah. Good. Excellent. Good stuff. So, uh, yeah. Oh, guess what I forgot again. No, oh, I knew, I knew <laughs> if it, one day you'll get this. I'll get this. I'll get it one day. Um, one day. Uh, talk about stuff. I'll do it. I'm going to do the same thing I did last week. And basically, Finn needs to learn the transitions. We've been doing this podcast for 66 episodes. You can hear him scrambling around in the background there. No, you can't. Hi. Found it. <laughs> right. So, this week's Sunny and Finn Games of Graphs podcast. That's the one. I'll get it one day. It's brought to you by the letter... D. D. For disco. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see what we've got. Dean Ho. We've about him before, haven't we? Yeah, just I think because of the word "ho," you probably. That's how we um, roll on this podcast. Yeah, pretty much. Oh dear. Uh, Damien Demento. Mm. Oh, we got Davari. We mentioned him earlier. We did mention him earlier on. He's one of WWE's uh, typecast Indians. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. Um, I see. It's gone too far. I've gone too far. Uh, Daniel Bryan. Who? No, no, some some beady guy. Okay. <laughs> Danny Doring. Mm. Oh. There's, a lot of good, there's a lot of potentials indeed. Hey, Dan, you leave Danny Doring alone. <laughs> Wait, is that an actual guy? You know? Yeah. Oh. He was in a tag team in ECW with Roadkill. Uh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> it's like he went to book before. No, I, used to, <laughs> I just used to watch a lot of ECW and uh, he was. Uh, I used to like Danny Doring a lot. It was good. Yeah. Fair play, fair play. Uh, Dave Tyler. Who? Dave Tyler, British, uh, British wrestler do from you, back in the day. Do you mean Dave Taylor? <laughs> <Just about it. laughs> he just missed the just missed the A out of his name. One of them. Uh, there you go. Finn can't. Finn can't. Finn can't do transitions. Nor can he read. I can read. Mm. <laughs> Most of the time. Um, I think it was Dundee quite recently because of Doug Bateman. Oh, of uh, course, yeah, because he's EC three. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do you want to pick a different letter? Or are you, are you struggling here? Or that's no, fine. There's a lot. There's a lot of stuff in these. Okay. The dicks, we've done them, we've done them before. We definitely did the dicks. <laughs> of course we did the dicks. Yeah, yeah. How could we not? Okay, of course. We just love doing the dicks. <laughs> That's what she said? That's what, yeah. Ah, uh, okay. Man, there's a lot. There's a lot in D. We could do a whole month's worth in D. <laughs> <laughs> hit, me with, hit me with the D. <laughs> I smack you right, right in the face with, with, with my D. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's E. Okay, got too far. Right. I'm going to go with... It's actually someone I remember because it's surprising because he was on TV for like two weeks. Uh, it's DJ Gabriel. Who? Uh, DJ Gabriel. Okay. Uh, weight two hundred twenty-two pounds. Height six foot two. From what? Oh, it's from England. It's from uh, Wokingham, England. 
Wokingham? Is that a real place? <laughs> Wokingham. Oh. Well, I think. I that. Wait, wait, is that even a real place? I don't know. I don't know either. Maybe. How is, how's, <laughs> it, how's it spelled? Uh, W-O-K-I-N-G. Yeah, wo- yeah Wokingham. Okay. <laughs> Wokingham. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know places. <laughs> uh, <sighs> Jesus. So thanks to uh, Teddy Lo- Theodore Long's uh, new superstar initiative, ECW was introduced to sports entertainment's most questionable dancer since Das Wunderkind. Sure. Das Wunderkind, Alex Wright? Uh, that's one, yeah. Alex Alex Wright when DJ... Yeah. Oh, since DJ... Yeah, okay. When DJ Gabriel in- debuted in November 2008, displaying some fancy footwork, the new superstar easily emerged with joyous from his first ever ECW match. Uh, unquestionably, Gabriel's future was looking bright, which might explain his affinity for wearing sage to the ring. With the right. beautiful Alicia Fox by his side, oh, Gabriel God. went undefeated for the remainder of 2008. Jesus. Fic- yeah. Picking up quick wins over several inferior opponents. It wasn't until 2009 that Gabriel's competition finally started to pick up. He entered into a, thr- a thrilling rivalry with a fellow countryman Paul Burchill. Pirate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> In the end, Gabriel proved to be the top Chris. So Gabriel won. Uh, Gabriel suffered his first loss in February 2009 when he fell victim to the massive Mark Hendry and his devastating world's strongest slam. Shortly after the loss, Fox was dropped to SmackDown without his favourite dance partner by his side. Gabriel soon faded away from WWE. But that was the reason, I'm sure. Mm. So there you go. This week's only uh, fucking Gabriel Graff podcast is brought to you. Something, something D. Did you, Gabriel? <laughs> Uh, I've just had a quick uh, look at him on Wikipedia. So if you were looking, saw me looking down there, so I was looking at my phone at uh, Wikipedia. It's, I don't remember him at all. Uh, yeah, uh, I, I must not must not watch too much old uh, WWE ECW Cause, back in the day because I remember because him it was being a sh- last few weeks. It was a shambles. That's why. It was yeah, bloody it was awful. <laughs> yeah. DJ Gabriel. Mm. He sounds like an extreme wrestler, doesn't he? Yeah, real, <laughs> real, real extreme. <laughs> oh God. This has been episode 66 of the Games and Grats podcast. You see, now I know what it's called. Yeah. We are a weekly <laughs> video game and wrestling podcast that posts every single Friday across podcast services everywhere. Everywhere. And in its brand new video form over at youtube.com forward slash Sunny Finn Play. Yeah. And youtube.com forward slash Day Dreamer Gaming. Quite. Go follow us on Twitter at Games and Grats. This has been episode 66. I'm Sunny. Yeah. I'm Finn. And we'll speak to you next week. Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye. Thanks very much. Goodbye. Divas. Demons. <laughs>